Dinosaur Nosaki. Okay, so I haven't had the privilege of uh, seeing Dinosaur Nosaki previously. He is a RAM player. And please be aware that uh, today this is the first... I believe this is the first tournament uh, in the world where uh, post-patch, basically. So it's going to be a very, very uh, entertaining uh, fight. I hope so. Uh, we have a little bit of little bit of lag, however. Yeah, the lag is actually pretty bad. Okay, anyways, here we go. Okay, here we go. yeah, there's a lot of lag for some reasons. I don't really know why. Here we go with the overdrive with hits. Uh, saw bad guy right off the bat. This is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see if... Oh, here it put the bandit bringer counter hit. He tried to bait the burst. However, Raubound not willing to get hit by it. And here we go with the Shizuriyuki for the win. Very nicely done by Raubound. He takes the first round. Let's see how this unfolds. Hopefully the lag will... Uh, will, um, let's call it. will solve itself. And here we go with Raubound, affected by the, oh, by the big blood rage. Okay, I think the uh, lag actually, oh, he looked at that. Oh, that confirm was crazy good. Very nicely done by Raubound. Takes the first match. Hopefully we won't get a disconnect. Perfect. What a fantastic, fantastic thing. Here we go with the Fukio bat, Fukio head. Oh my lord. Raubound is going completely ham, man. Making use of all of the th thing that has uh, been given to Nagoriyuki. Okay, this time around, Nozaki <laughs> using a safe jump. Very nice. Oh, and my lord using the... Oh, and the wake up tyrant rave in your face. And here goes the first round of the second match to Nozaki. Very nicely done. And here we go with the far S and the bended revolver. Second hit delayed. My lord, Raubound going completely ham again. Just using the Shizuriyuki. And to continue his onslaught. Okay, here we go with the Gunflame. You are... Oh, no, 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 no. The Twitch chest doesn't work anymore. So the Twitch chest, um, what's it called? It's grounded hitbox has been drastically reduced. So it's imp almost impossible to hit crouching opponents now with the Twitch chest. So no, 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 Rabat. You cannot use this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the wall break from Nozaki. Yeah, Twitch chest doesn't work like that anymore. No, 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 no. It doesn't work anymore. Here we go with the... Uh, six HS surprise, for the win, exactly the surprise mother humper. <laughs> unfortunate for Raubound, but very fortunate for uh, Dinosaur Nozaki who manages to take the um, the second match actually. So we shall see how this pans out. Also, Hakuman, first match, and we already had a connection error. <laughs> so I had to uh, I had to um, I had to redo the the, the room and everything. That, that's so dumb. So then, okay, let's take this opportunity to try to see if there isn't any other problems in the bracket. Apparently not. Yeah, perfect. Everything goes pretty well. Okay, here we go on to the next battle. Was just about to ask, yeah. First match, the very first match we had. Okay, the first match, it was okay. I put it in first to three format. So the first match was ended at the end. We had the connection error, so as I was booted out of spectators mode. I had to, uh, I had to, um, to, uh, to redo the room. Forcefully. Anyways, here we go with the for the with the volcanic viper, and finally, Raubound forced the burst. How's it going? Anyways, season two, we know. Yeah, I think he's gonna be pretty, pretty. Um, <laughs> he's gonna be pretty strong. Uh, the thing is that yeah, only her stroke H has been um, has been um, nerfed, but the thing is that her notes and her two S have been and her two S and her HCL has been extremely buffed. So I think that now she's going to be, it, it, it's going to, it's going to easily like compensate for the uh, bad two HS that she has, the bad uh, HS stroke that she has right now. I think it's really going to be strong. He can also now um, block very early after her hover. So that means that uh, she can block reversals. And if she blocks reversals, thanks to the, uh, you know, the uh, universal reversal nerf, which is uh, they recover, well, you you recover very fast when you block it in the air. It's now it's really really good for for you know for her for her pressure basically. You cannot like just DP and get out of jail free with uh, against Eno anymore, and that's very very huge I think. So I think that Eno is a good place right now. I think she's probably stronger than she was in the previous uh, in the previous season, but people are going to have to work on her neutral. I think when I say people, this is me included by the way. Anyways, that being said, here we go <laughs> with the answer of the Raban. I'm sorry if I. If I cough, guys, but I still I'm still uh, having some uh, 
health issues right now, unfortunately. So hopefully it's I'm gonna be able to commentate without coughing too much. That being said, here we go. <laughs> With Rabound using the uh ooh, Rabound was on the verge of getting Oh my lord! Oh my lord, and here we go with the second match going to Rabound, but honestly, it, it, it could have gone either way. And here we go with another connection error, of course. Watching 2HS with is still so hard to believe. Yeah, I mean, I know, right? But that's good, man. That's a good thing. And here we go with the connection error. <laughs> Three matches in, two, con two connections error already. Great. This is great. Perfect. Mm. No, guess I cannot make it in first to three. This is unfortunate, but yeah, it's life. And here we go. Hopefully not, nobody got kicked out of the, the lobby. <laughs> okay, perfect. Mike into HS is low profile now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice, okay. But I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this change, to be honest. <laughs> what I uh, fear, however, is uh, that you cannot 6P her uh, the follow-up of the Kabari anymore. And her... Uh, each Kabar, her Escobar is a plus and block now, I think. I'm not quite sure, actually. Anyways, that being said, here we go on to the fourth battle on the quick 6P counter hit from Raubound, but it wasn't without the wake up DP from uh, from Nozaki to, oh my lord. Here we go, no, you're staying here. You are not moving, sir. And the onslaught and finally the DP, wake up DP from Nozaki. Unfortunately for Raubound, his overdrive got baited. Okay, here we go, Rabban making good- Oh, no, no, you can't, you can't, you can't anymore! You can't, Rabban! I'm sorry, you can't do this anymore! And just like this, I think... Yeah, yeah, here we go, Nozaki makes it, takes it very, very convincingly. You can't do this, Rabban, anymore! It's not working anymore! <laughs> yeah, that's a very big nerf, by the way. A very a huge nerf, but I think it's 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 well-deserved. And right now, yeah, I think most Nago to Yuki players will have to adjust to the fact that the 2HS does not does not hit everywhere on screen anymore. So they have to adjust to it. And very nice reset by Nozaki with the wild throw. And just like this, he takes the fourth match with a perfect. This is a huge statement, by the way. And again, a connection error, of course. A nerve that suits it visually looking exactly, man. Very nicely done. This is a very good nerf. I'm very satisfied. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because this 2HS, like, have been making my life a freaking... Well, not my life, but has been making my online life with Eno a hell of a lot harder than what it was supposed to be. That being said, here we go with the fourth, I know the third connection error in a row that we have. <laughs> I'm sorry for the cough. It's not my fault. I'm taking the medicine right now to try to reduce it as much as possible. But unfortunately for me, it's still not, uh, well, it's still not, a uh, you know, um, I, I'm still not cured. Bra yeah, man, Arc System, I, I know, man, I know. But it's okay, hopefully it'll come eventually. At some point, I really hope so. That being said, here we go with uh, the next match. And let's see, okay, no connection error. Okay, perfect, this is good to see. And on to the next battle, and here we go with a quick bend. Oh my lord, the conversions are here. Very nicely done by uh, Nozaki and Wake Up DP yet again. Not punished! Actually, I don't know why, but Nozaki managed to punish the punish attempt from... Um, from, uh, well, basically from, uh, from Rabound, but that thing that we go with Rabound going completely ham, where if not on baby duties, I would definitely jump on the, ah, oh, it's okay, man, no worries, no worries. And here we go with the 2S, and you can see that Rabound knows, oh my lord, and the wake up DP yet again by Nozaki, but this time I wasn't able to finish his cheese, like I say, oh, the gun flame, the gun flame is real, my lord, the 6 speed clash, right, that was crazy, oh! <gasps> Almost got it, and the jump back HS counter hit from Rabban. Is he gonna convert? Yes, he is. He's not gonna get a wall break, however. Ah, you're using a little bit too much Fukio. And the jump HS for the win. Here we go with Dinosaur. Nozaki on the verge of taking the very first match. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the Kansetsu. And a very nice call out on the back dash by Rabban. He gets, he's going to get the wall break. It, oh my lord, the big 6 HS counter hit. No conversion, unfortunately. I don't know if it's possible to convert off of it. Oh my lord, my lord, my lord, what is going on? And the bandit revolver counter hit. The double Fukio for the win. Oh my lord, and Nozaki not afraid of pressing buttons right there. Oh, and he goes for the grab. Very nicely done. Ooh. Here we go, no Konsetsu. As you can see, yeah, Rabal knows that he has a lot of 
his his blood gauges. Oh, and just a grab for the win. Very nicely done by Rebound takes the my lord. We're on the final match, the final round of the final match. This is going down to the wire. Here we go with the two S counter it into the bandit revolver, and here we go. Very nice Fukio to uh, to not uh, to uh, with punish right there. And here we go, bandit bringer. Oh no, DP for you, sir. Ooh, and an overdrive is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, okay, they didn't get the animation, but it's okay, you got the follow-up. Okay, back to neutral. What's going on? Both players a little bit wary. Don't want to take too much risks. And the Fukio to get close and get the counter hit. Very nicely done. How's this going to go? <laughs> okay, both players don't have any burst. Oh my lord, the call out, he's gonna get the blood. No! You shouldn't have tried to. Oh my lord, you would have one right there. No lucky, this is unfortunate. Okay, this is really going down to the wire. Just near we go with the close as for the win. Very nicely clutch win. You see for me against RX. Both players, I have seen them play previous in previous iteration of the Bro Drill Cup, so I'm really looking forward to see how they are going to play today. And here we go with a quick start by Hifumi, just run up straight and do 2k. A badly timed burst right there from RX. Hopefully for him, he hasn't been punished. This is very good for him. As we all know, uh, Testament has been buffed recently. She can now juggle really easily. Oh, and, and here we go with Hifumi using the, uh, the uh, buffs from Leo, who can now cross his opponent up even in the corner. And as I have said, now you can also juggle with your uh, crow. So this is something I really want to say. And here we go with Hifumi making good use of the side switch right there. And with the counter hit, he ends up taking the first round of this match. Very nicely done by Hifumi. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with just Hifumi not being afraid to just run up straight. Okay, RX have some problems uh, trying to find his mark, but it should be okay. Here we go with the Crow one again. Once again, oh, unfortunately for him, a trade. Oh, very nice uh, air conversion. It couldn't actually completely convert, but it's still okay. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately for Hifumi, wasn't able to punish the buttons from RX. He is going to get a very nice conversion here in the corner, yet again using side switch to uh, punish RX. Is he? No, he's not going for again with the side switch, man. Yeah, people are still not used to this. You can see Hifumi making good use of the the bus from uh, the bus from uh, from Leo right there, using the side switch extremely uh, intelligently right there, and just keeping Arx uh, overall on his toes. Manages to take the first match. Let's see how this pans out. If Arx will be able to find some sort of adjustment, or if Hifumi is just gonna go ham as a Leo Leo player should, to be quite honest. But yeah, so far so good for um, Hifumi. Definitely. Uh, already found his mark, if I might say. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the uh, dual one again. Very nice for. Uh, I do believe that was the six HS. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, here we go with the Harbinger. Harbinger again, trying to keep. Oh, very nice use of the shield right there from the guard point from Kifumi. He's gonna get RX in the corner. This time around, RX went, managed to block the uh, side switch again with guard crush and. Here we go with the win by. This is round. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna commentate a little bit later. Let me, uh, I'm gonna... Very nicely done by uh, by Oryx. Just one second, guys. I'm really sorry. I need to I need to pose this because this is really like unforgivable, man. What the hell? Seriously, like connection error in between freaking. Matches? Are you serious? This is like not good. This is not good at all. Let's 
Very nicely done by... Actually, sorry, I need to... Yeah, I'm gonna commentate a little bit later. Okay, here we go with RX. I'm really sorry, I'm gonna comment it in a couple of seconds. Just let me really upload something real quick. Uh, okay, here we go. Connection error happening in between rounds now. Okay, very nicely done by RX. Takes the uh, second match. Hopefully, we won't get a connection error uh, from there on. Very nicely done by RX. I'm sorry, I couldn't commentate the match at all. Okay, hopefully, we won't get any connection error anymore okay well that at least makes me certain that i cannot put uh, the matchup format in first to three uh while doing the lobbies because yeah we're definitely gonna get connection error if it happens even between matches this is like between uh, rounds this is like really really bad anyways here we go on to the second uh, the third match actually and here we go with the dash 2k into 2d by hifumi early burst by him at the same time you can see rx making good use of the projectile the skull of um Testament to nullify the uh, projectile from from Leo. Very nicely done. Here we go. The stain is there, and Hifumi making good use of the two. Oh my lord! Just going ham, going ham with the standing S S S S. And okay, whoa! Very nice aerial skull right there. And here we go. You are stained. And unfortunately for RX, he didn't make use of the new buff of uh of uh, of Testament, but it's still okay. It's a, it, I think it's gonna come with uh, with experience, and here we go with the wall break. He is stained as well. Oh, very nice air to air right there from Hibri. Very gutsy, by the way. And here we go. And the burst, was that a good idea? Oh my lord, making good use of the Arbinger to just, to quite simply just snipe his opponent out. Very nicely done by RX. Okay, here we go. Very nice interrupt by RX. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Okay, unfortunately for him, you. Oh, 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 and the guard point finds its mark. Here we go, RX gets out of the corner. Oh, and the. My lord, the block string DP right there from Hifumi, not afraid of pressing buttons. There you go, you are stained and you are harbingered. If that. Oh, my lord, the wake up DP from Hifumi yet again. This guy can easily be a contender for best DP user. Oh, okay, and here we go again. Very nice block from RX, man. Left and right, these are going very nice for him. And here we go with the surprise teleport grab by RX. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, and my lord. Oh, no, that was close. Okay, here we go. This should do. No, oh, and the burst, too late. Ah, but it's okay. He still has a slither of health. Let's see how it goes. Oh, you got gold bursted and here we go to schmitz and the grab by rx for the win very nicely done saved by the bell man oh that was really really clutch very nicely done by rx probably manages to take the uh the this round as well let's see how this pans out <clears throat> okay nobody called me this is good okay pairs actually called me just going to my picture we're good Good, good, good. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. Yes, we are good. Okay, the tournament is going pretty good now. This is good. Get on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. A quick start of the round with the 2k. <clears throat> and here we go with the 2hs counter hit. Very nicely done. <clears throat> Very nice DP right there from Hifumi. He gets the overhead and gets the side switch as well to keep RX in the corner. No overdrive, but it's still okay. No worries. <coughs> okay, here we go. The 2K 2D finally gets the uh, the, uh, the 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 crow. Very nice side switch right there. The oh, the cross up into the uh, stained <coughs> stained. Very nicely done again. The stained. Very nice recognition from RX. He's gonna get the overdraw. Yeah, he is perfectly done. Very well done. Oh, okay, here we go. Leo has to guess. Okay, well, RX. Okay, keeping it real, keeping it uh, simple, not overextending, especially if he knows when he knows that Leo has ADP. <laughs> okay, here we go with the delays and he's making up a good job 
of using the side switch yet again. I am saying this, like I have said this so many times. But yeah, he's doing a very good job of doing so. Also use the new buff of uh, of uh, of Testament, which basically you can decide whether or not the crow goes in the direction of the fairy by, I think, holding uh, by holding the, uh, the, the 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 crow button. So you can either decide for the crow to go in the direction of the fairy or just directly go uh, in a straight line. And just like this, very nice. Confirmed by Hifumi, man. On the verge, however, of uh, losing this one, though. He needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Oh, very nice maneuvering around the crow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go with the Harbinger. Oh, again, the skulls to keep Hifumi in check. And very nice use of the 2 HS counter hit right there. To punish. Ah, here we go. And you are in Schmick's land. Here we go with the delayed offense from Kifumi. A little bit too far. Ah, but it's okay. He just dashes in and gets the confirm into the Eisenbogen. And here we go. How will this pan out? Oh, Lord, that was close. Woo, this is up for the no punish. RX, you definitely needed this, but it's okay. Okay, no tension bar to try. Oh, oh this is death. And this is death, and RX takes it very, very quick. Okay, on to the next battle. This is gonna be pairs. Another Leo player, okay, against Nicolas Zero. Everybody knows Nicolas Zero. You don't need to introduce this dude. Probably one of the best Potemkin players in Japan. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the slider head. Immediate start up. <laughs> the offense, here we go with the Garuda impact. You have to take it. Oh, and very nice side switch. Gutsy side switch from pairs. Just think, oh, you wanna guard break me? Okay, I'm gonna a guard break you then. But that being said, unfortunately for him, Pears gets uh, a badly... Yeah, this is gonna kill... Is it? Yes, yeah, this is definitely death. This is death. Very oh, yeah, it's death. Very nicely done by Nikoju. Takes the first round. Let's see how Pears manages to adapt. Here we go, the big Mega Fist right in your face. And the slider head, very nice <laughs> blocks. Here we go, and Nikoji loves this Mega Fist. He loves this Mega Fist, man. He absolutely loves it. And here we go, the Schmixes, and oh, the side switch. Very nicely done. No. And back to the Mega Fist. Oh, no. Project that for you, sir. Okay, ooh, this, ooh, okay. No conversion there. It's unfortunate for him. And here we go with the butt, the butt fall <laughs> from Nikoji. Very nicely done. Oh, I wonder if the, uh, the, the reach of, uh, of, uh, the, uh, what's called, um, Gorilla Impact has been nerfed as well. I'm not quite sure. Ooh, my lord, and just... Ah, oh, just let it rip. Let it rip, just like Jack the Ripper and the Wake Up Mega Fist by Nikos. He takes it 1-0 to zero for now. Let's see how Paris manages to adapt to this very, very hard situation for him. We shall see. Nikos is definitely no slouch. He's, he's probably one of the best. I have said it already. But one of the best... Uh, what's called Potemkin player. So let's see how this pans out. That being said, somebody called me. I do not know why. Let's see. Let me see real quick. Okay. Ah, Kohide has an access to his, uh, <laughs> his, um, his uh, stuff yet, but it's okay. Yeah, I think he knows that he's uh, not up yet for uh, the stream. So we shall see. Here we go with the Mega Fist. Oh, and the Neural, my lord. That punish on the freaking burst was crazy. Oh, is that death? Oh, is that death? No, it's not actually. Wow, that was that did a ton of damage though. Very nicely done. And the wake up BP by Pears. Nope. Grabbing you. You're staying there, sir. Stay on the ground. <laughs> Very nicely done by Nikozito. Let's see how Pears manages to adapt. A big mega fist counter hit right there. This does a lot of damage. Again the Garrod Impact. Again the Garrod Impact. Man, you can oh you can link both of them. This is crazy, man. Hurts like a mother humper. Oh, yep, wake up, DP. And here you go, you are in the schmicks. But badly timed the guard break right there from Paris. <laughs> Gets grabbed out of it, and just like this with the flick, Nikos Yudu takes it with a 2D. Very nicely done. 2 2 0. Okay, is Paris going to find some kind of way to try to reverse this um, this very, very hard momentum that is technically, well, there is clearly not as in favor. Not in his favor. Let's hope for the best for him. We shall see. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to the third match of this encounter. Hopefully for Paris, you will find something. Hopefully for him, I really, really hope it's going to be the case. <clears throat> and on to the third match. Oh, Gary, go with the grab and the slider head. 
Oh lord, here we go with the grab and the Garuda impact. You have to hold it. Oh lord, okay, I wanted to burst. Okay, okay, Nikoji wanted to burst. Very nice, uh, very, very, oh, this is badly timed, meaty from Paris. It's unfortunate, and here we go with the grab by Nikojiro. Nikojiro has been grabbing Paris for the past again with the grab. <laughs> Nikojiro wants to grab him again. <laughs> I knew it. I knew Nikojiro just wanted to grab his opponent. I could, I could tell. Very nicely done by Nikojiro. Okay, here we go. Is he gonna spend all of his time just grab? Are you serious? I think Nikojiro, yeah, he's in on his troll mode. Very nice 2D right there, counter hit. Oh my lord, that grab! Uh, Nikoji not doing anything except grabbing. Look at this! He's been grabbing his opponent left and right, man. And here we go, Paris getting a little bit angsty. And he gets grabbed, and he's not using the... <laughs> Nikoji do some. And here we go with the next battle. It's going to be Mugi versus Caffeine. Hopefully this goes well. Really, really looking forward to this match. And here we go with the very nice 2K. Very quick 2K into the Konsetsu by Mugi. Mugi rocking the red aura, by the way. Very nice interruption right there, Caffeine. She was bound to get grabbed. Okay, here we go. Oh, Mugi. A little bit shy of his offense. Probably wary of his blood gauge right there. Very nice for S. Conversion is gonna get the kill. And here we go, making good use of the newly found buff on the DP from Nagoriyuki, which the follow up actually makes the enemy ground uh, bounce and enables a follow up as you. Oh, okay, okay. He doesn't go for it. Okay, here we go. Very nicely done by Mugi. Okay, he gets. Uh, very nicely done by Caffeine right there. The counter hit to the. And the far S again for the pickup. Mugi definitely on the train. On um on um steamroll right there. Ugh. Yeah, you have to hold it. And this should do very strong performance for Mugi. Puts one on the board already. One to zero by Mugi. Let's see how this pans out. Hopefully this is going to be okay. And on to the next battle. <clears throat> And on to the next batch. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Is this tournament on you? Yes, it is, sir. It is, it is. So everybody, <laughs> everybody's just rocking a character that they're not familiar with anymore. So yeah, this is the magic of a, a quick tournament. Very nice use of the um, of the minions to uh, keep Nagoriki in the corner. Here you, go. you can see, look at the life of Nagoriki just melting away even though he was locking up until now. Very nice wall break by Caffeine. <laughs> oh, and here we go with the 2D catches, the walk back from Mugi. We a little bit shy to try to... Oh, Lord, and here we go the Fukio into the Konsetsu. The newly found buff of Nagoriyuki closes the... Oh, the closes the distance extremely quick and unfortunately for oh very nice backdash by caffeine the gutsy backdash by caffeine manages to take it and here we go on to the next battle beautiful all right here is people bitching about the changes literally hours into it instead of exploring what new stuff is available just morning what they've lied exactly when you have to hit the the, the lab i think that yeah we, we, we're still on the first day so people might be a little bit you know dramatic thinking that Always the end of, of their character as such, but I'm sure that after like a couple of days, once they lab it and everything, they'll find out that it's not as uh, desperate as what they think. But that being said, here we go with Cafe finally out of the corner, manages to pull a minion out. Wanted to apply more pressure, but unfortunately for him, got swooped off by the far as very nicely done. Oh, and here we go again with the Fukio into the Konsetsu. Thank you very much for the follow, Seraphis. Surf, Sarah face high and welcome to the Brodos. Truly appreciate it. Here we go with the football <laughs> with the soccer match right there from Caffeine using her minion as a soccer ball. Very nice recognition of the uh, 6 HS, I believe. Counter hit. We go using the minion to fly pressure. We're trying to put as many as possible. And here we go again with the 6 HS counter hit. And Caffeine on the verge of getting. Oh, the wall big. This is unfortunate. Almost got it. Oh, here we go with the wall. Another wall, the air grab from Mugi. Okay. Oh, my lord. And yeah, this is gonna do. Mugi takes it yet again. Steals it even. 
Very nicely done by Mugi. Sorry if I cough, I still have a cold. Trying to get it uh, cured as quickly as possible, took as much medicine as I could, but fortunately couldn't make it in time. To be perfectly cured for the Brojo Cup, I apologize to everybody who has to hear my very annoying cough. Hopefully it'll be over for uh, the next Brojo Cup, I really hope so. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. It's going to be the third match of this encounter. Hopefully Caffeine is going to find some sort of way to reverse the uh, momentum, because right now it's going all <laughs> the way of Mugi. And here we go with the follow-up. Almost got the follow-up, man. That would have been huge for him, by the way. When Caffeine not afraid to just run straight. Very nice use of the... Oh, no! Oh, by the way, uh... Uh, Jacko has been buffed now for, uh, what's called her, um... Well, you guys have probably seen the uh, official account of GGSC, but now the guard point of her minion actually drain life from the opponent. If the opponent hits it while they're on guard point, very nice use of the DP right there from Boogie takes it, and he's on the verge of actually taking it, by the way. Here we go with the aerial perk from Caffeine, forces the burst, and again, the Fukio into the... Uh, Consensus man, this is really really huge actually to close the distance. It's crazy good Not too much commitment by the way And here we go. Well, you actually just need to block it I think since it's minus on block now here we go with the uh, Overdrive conversion by caffeine gonna put some damage. Oh actually so quite quite a lot of damage very nice Follow-up right there from caffeine manages to take it. I have a feeling that new jacko changes on pickup throw rune her pseudo infinite that's possible it's possible but she got other like um buffs i think so i, I personally think that jacko might uh have moved on has have moved up a couple of tier uh to be honest but we'll have to see what uh the uh the jacko gamers have to say on this one very nice use of the fukio and then the grab from Mugi. and here we go my look using the soccer ball Using your minion as a soccer ball, and here we go, the pressure is real. You have to hold it, Moogie, hold it, hold it. But if you hold it, I'm gonna grab you. Three minions in. Oh lord, what was that? What was that? That was crazy. What, the minion hits Nagoriyuki out of the Yellow Roman cancel? That was crazy good. Oh my lord, it takes so much coordination. Play. Yeah, it does, and just like this one. Okay, hopefully we'll see it right now as well. And here we go, Pan Pink Panther rocking the Zato right there. I uh, haven't paid too much attention to the uh, patch notes of Zato, but I do believe he's been pretty buffed, if I'm correct. Only the uh, the Toad has been nerfed, if I'm correct. That being said, here we go with Kohide applying pressure. And the Pink Panther on to the Onslaught. Let's see how... Oh, very nice burst bait. Well, it wasn't bird uh, bait, but at least he got it out of his system. Here we go with the Toad, keeping, keeping Kohide on the ground. And here we go using the Oppose. And to the command grab, very nicely done by Pink Panther. Let's see how this pans out. Pink Panther, very, he seems very good actually. Like Koide has not been able to get out of this. And here we go with the aerial overdrive. Very nicely done. Fixed frame 2k. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Here we go with the, ah, uh, no. Almost got killed. What the hell? Yamero, ah, uh, Yamero. Oh, the chode. Going over the oh and the tilt for the win. Very nicely done by Pink Panther. Actually takes the first freaking round. I am hyped. Who is this guy? I do not know this player, the Pink Panther. I have no idea who he is. That being said, here we go with the Schmixes. Okay, he keeps Eddie out to try to get his Eddie gauge back on strike. Very nicely done. Here we go with again the opposing to the command grab. Very nicely done. He's going to get a full bar of Eddie and Kohide has had enough. He definitely does not want to go down. Ah, and here we go with the Ventania. Look at the damage, man. Oh, here we go with the Nasante and the Quick Dust. Roman cancel one, two. Warwick is going to do a lot of damage, but Kuide is not going to get any sort of Okizume. That being said, Pink Panther, okay, got his Eddie back. He's going to push probably Kuide back in the corner. Kuide not afraid to just run up straight and grab the hell out of Pink Panther. Really nicely done by Kuide. Gets one round as well. Everything went very good for the Pink Panther, though. That was unfortunate for him. He's out of Eddie. Yeah, and here we go with the 2D. Where's... How has this move been murfed? I have no idea. Very nice Asante right there. Oh, very got the follow-up. And here we go with the Sepultura. You are staying out, sir. I wonder if you can 6 speed the Sepultura now. Very nice use of the Toad. <laughs> no! 
んで片付けたね。And here we go! Oh, and the spiral arrow! Ah,、uh, no, Lord! And this is back to. Yeah, Pain Town, and this should do. Yeah, this is gonna do. Very nice conversion from Koide. He's gonna get the kill, and just like this, Koide, reverse the、uh, momentum actually. Everything was going in Pink Panther's way, but yeah, Koide, man, just, just too strong. Just too strong. But still, Pink Panther got a nip. He has some,、uh, some tricks up of his sleeve, so we shall see how this spins out. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Sorry, I was called in a chat earlier. <clears throat> okay, and here we go again with the oppose. Manages to get a counter hit, a very, very clean counter hit on his opponent. <coughs> okay, nobody、uh, called me in the chat, so this is perfect. And here we go with, yeah, Koita just applying the pressure, man. Going in, going out, going in, going out. And here we go with the wall break. Boom! Get out of here! Very nicely done. You're looking pretty nice, yeah. Especially, especially Kohide's、uh, Eno.、Uh, not Eno. Geo. Very nicely done by <laughs> Kohide. Gets the kill. And just like this, he takes the first round. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the spikes. You are staying down, sir. No! No more AD, no more nothing. You have to. Yeah. You have to endure the pressure. Very nicely done by Kohide again with the grab. Very nicely done. Just mixing his options. And the quick dust, and you can burst this actually, I think. Oh my, look, this actually killed the damage, man. 2 to 0 for Kohide. What is Pink Panther going to do? What is he gonna do? Things look so good in the very first、uh, the very first match, man. This is really unfortunate for him. That being said, moving on to the next battle. Battle, battle. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> very nicely done. And. On to the next battle. Oh my lord. Koida just steamrolling right now. Hopefully, Pink Panther is gonna find a way. Ah、uh, no, here we go with the flip kick. Ah,、uh, Koida really doing a good job of just going in, going out, man. Smoib! My brother from another mother! Thank you for the raid, man. As always, it's always a pleasure to have you and your community hop by. Thank you very much yet again, Smoy, for the raid. Really, really appreciate it. So, how do you like the,、uh, how do you like the uh, Gold Lewis uh, buffs, man? How do you, is, it, is it to your taste, or do you think like, maybe they shouldn't have touched him or anything? But, anyways, yeah, man. Thank you again for the raid. Welcome to everybody. This is the Brojo Cup, the weekly tournament which takes place every Friday. It's a Japanese online tournament. And、uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you have any、uh, questions, please. Do not hesitate to address them in the chat. I can speak English, French, anything you want. Well, mostly, hopefully. Google is feel super strong. This is good to hear, man. Thank you for the rib. Yeah. Thank you for the rib, Smoy. Really, really appreciate it. So, John seemed enthused about the changes. Yeah, apparently, man. You are appreciated. <laughs> This is good. This is good, man. Oh, here we go with Mineral. Mineral, the president of video games. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. President? Welcome back, sir. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, here we go with Kohide, man, just steamrolling the competition. It takes it a look.、Uh, so,、uh, Exxon is going to be co commentating with me because he is a very nice person and he could see that I had some throat p r o b l e m and he's gonna、uh, relieve me from said throat problem for a couple of times. Well, anyways, we're gonna yeah, alternate the. Just for that, I would, I would need, you know, this is called stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sony, I need to. Okay, yeah, that's. Yeah, I need to show you the stream.、Uh, just one second, please. Uh, how do we do this? Like this? That should do it. Perfect. Can you see I, it? I don't. I just hope、mm. that the quality is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You、good. can see it. Perfect. Can you r e g o with the first round, which goes to Mugi? Very nicely done. Can you put the character? They play in the predictions. Okay, okay. I, I'll do it for the next match. Okay. I'll do it next time. I'll, I'll try if I have time. That is. Uh, and <laughs> we go with a very nice stain from our X trying to keep Mugi out of、uh, out of range. And here we go. Very nice jump over by Mugi using the Konketsu to、uh, punish our X, whip punish him, and get a、uh, counter hit. Very nicely done by our X right there. This 6P uses the teleport、nice. to side switch. And 
just like this. Mugi is in dire straight, but he's not staying anymore. And the, oh my lord, the cheeky Fukio, man. That was a really cheeky Fukio. Very nice 6p counter hit. And the wake up. Hail Mary, no kill, unfortunately, for him. But D4S just takes it very nicely done. One round apiece. No, the yeah, names um, often hardly fit in prediction. Adding the characters is too much. Okay, thanks. It's just that I don't know uh, the players, so can't wager on the name. Oh, okay, 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 fair enough. Uh, he means in the prediction uh, mineral, not in the actual um, the, the, the overlays. <clears throat> yeah, now that Testament can enjoy can enjoy having a real first slash. Oh, was that first? It's gonna be a full punish. Is it already the end? Yes, I guess he can Damn. just go for a 6HS into super. He will break the wall, not kill maybe? Yeah, but it's, it doesn't matter because it will still apply the same states. And we got some meter, and that's it. The Arbiter sign overhead <laughs> will seal the deal. Very and it's, sleep done, man. Uh, oh, it's 1-0 for RK. For Oryx. Exactly, yeah. Oryx, sorry. All right, it's Oryx. okay, second Oryx. And just like this, we have another connection error. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, this is really crazy, man. Did did you know the very first match I had uh, during the tournament, we had a connection error. And then we had a match, yeah. we had one round, and in, in, between, in between the rounds, rounds right? we had yeah, the yeah. connection. It's crazy, man. It's getting worse and yeah, worse. I saw, on, I saw it on Twitter. It's so crazy. I really hope they fix it, man, because this is getting worse and worse with each passing patches, man. But anyways, that being said, here we go. We are going back to uh, the match. This is going to be the second match. Oryx managed to take it very, very convincingly, by the way, but it was one round apiece, so yeah, but it's definitely not out of Mugi's reach, especially with his godlike Nagoriyuki. And on to the second match. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, and here we go with the Fukio trying to close the distance with Oryx, pushing him ever so slightly in the corner. Okay, this time around, the 2HS has been affected by a nerf. Nagoyuki cannot hit people who uh, crouch anymore on the ground, which is, I think, well-deserved. And here we go with Oryx using the teleport to get out of the corner. Very nice spot. Ah, S by Mugi. He has Oryx exactly where he wants. Here he goes with the reset. And he's gonna get the overdrive into the wall break, into the kill. Very nicely done. Yeah, this round was pretty fast. It was. <laughs> well, we, we also know that Testament uh, doesn't have like much more health, but still, yeah, still nice, nice engaging. Like the burst is enforced uh, from Mugi's side, and then we got the thing applied. Yeah, nice one. We got the catch in the back. Ooh, we got the counter hit that will go up for. Uh, uh, corner carry that, that was a nice throw uh, and dodge here and now the sides are inverted but okay 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 neutral let's let's play let's use uh, the real far slash that <laughs> Testament now have that, that's a nice zoning like it is, uh, it, is. It, it looks like RX knows when uh, um, their opponent is gonna is gonna jump yeah now we have to be off to use the burst that was a really neat instant block to get the throw out exactly. of it that was, that was that was really cool. Pretty God like cool. reactions by Oryx using, yeah, just as Exxon said, using the instant block to then punish his opponent by grabbing him. That was quick reaction speed right there from Oryx. And as uh, Exxon also said previously, uh, you can see that Oryx is definitely doing a good job of zoning Mugi, not just applying pressure, but just quite simply zoning him, harassing him from far away by alternating between, as you can see, the skull, the crow, the stain, and then the harbinger to try to zone him out. Very nicely done. Here we go again in the Harbinger for the kill. Very intelligent play by Rx, just keeping Mugi out. Mugi has like literally no, has, hasn't has really found a way to uh, consistently just get in and getting the job done. And this is all due to the fact that Rx probably knows the matchup, I suppose. And um, yeah, but yeah. there's also something else. Like when, usually when you play against a Testament, <clears throat> you are waiting for them to send the succubus, then to either uh, then to either send the um, the crow or to teleport. But or what Rx did instead was using an orbiter sign because it's the last thing that, that you can expect once the succubus is set on. Through that, through that. And that is really intelligent. That is smart. All right, now we get uh, a good corner pressure from Mugi right there. Nice instant block into uh, into the throw just to revert the position, and that's it. Six H. Oh, two, 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 two. That's it. No, you won't get out of the corner. I got my Arbiter sign that's been buffed now, so you won't do anything. That's the wall back and it will kill. It kills. Damn. 
That did a lot of damage, actually. I, I just can't believe it actually killed. I don't think that uh, Testament received, like, a buff uh, of the damage of her overdrive. Very nice backdash on the concept, so that was crazy good. And you can see just, like, just just block, counter hit, just block, and counter hit, just going completely crazy for both players. Here we go, finally. Moogie forced to burst this time around. The 2HS finds its mark and counter hit. He wasn't able to convert off of it, though. Whiffed. Uh, for SHS right there, and Mookie just like really trying to run after Rx, but Rx like doing a good job of being extremely filmsy and and uh, you know slippery. Here we go with the back dash, but unfortunately gets caught by the stint and the oh, overdrive. Oh, Ale Barry, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. It's not gonna kill by any means, but it's definitely gonna hurt. Put a little bit of a uh, of stain in the uh, in the mind of Rx, and here we go with the jump in by Mookie. Use this back foot here to try to possibly bait something. Oh, and here we go with the Roman cancel. Quick Roman cancel from the aerial approach from RX. He's on the verge of taking it. Here we go with the 6 feet on block and the oh teleport and into the it. grab. Very nicely done by RX. I'm excited to see how uh, Nico Zudu will handle new Potemkin's buff. Yeah. Like especially the, the one the one of the the new Giganter Kai, you know, the, yeah. the shield super yeah. that now can allow so many conversions yeah. and so so many sauce, man. This you, this thing has been has been saucy since the bus. So you can I do so many that. crazy like corner carries using the uh, the, giga, the the his overdrive now. So yeah, definitely. Me too. I'm looking forward to how Nikozilu, if he had time to like focus on it, he have time to work on it. How Nikozilu is going to use it. But that being said, here we go. Very nice back dashes from Kohide. Gets out of the pressure by Nikozilu. And a big 6p counter hit. Oh, wasn't quite able to convert off of it. Get the underground, but it's still okay. Here we go. Oh, oh this doesn't work oh, anymore. He no, it works. He just missed his button. Okay, okay. He just missed input. All right. Oh, we start <laughs> right <laughs> with the Potemkin burst into an Okizeme. All right, uh, Garuda Impact on the on the, on OTG. I don't know if it's the... It's really a good thing, but okay, we, we still take those. Uh, fortunately, the back mega piece didn't hit. Like the, the hitbox is the hitbox hardbox. So this move is so strange. Holy damn! Will it break the wall though? This super no. We we have a good corner carry here. Yeah, now we got to get very patient, but we did not react to the dust and it won't kill. <coughs> fortunately for Nikozu, who's full meter right now, uh, they better uh, no! use it. Well, whoa! <laughs> I'm sure she tried to do got, the aerial okay, we got the In fact, into oh. Buster, this oh. will kill! Shut. This will kill, man! <laughs> Very yeah. nice, so that was hype. I think that he did a misinput when he did the butt fall. I think he wanted to do the uh, the aerial overdrive, the celestial... Uh, uh, the celestial pot Potemkin Buster. I think he wanted he to do heavenly, it. Heavenly, yeah. The yeah, a the heavenly, yeah. Exactly. But that being said, it's still okay. Nikos, you still managed to take it. Here we go, back in, uh, yeah, back in blocking mode, and uh, Nikoji doing a good job of trying to get out of the of the corner, but yeah, the pressure is really unrelentless by uh, Kohide just harassing Nikoji with the dash into the small <laughs> 2k, the 2p. Again, the Nasante counter hit, this is gonna do a lot of damage, forces Nikoji. Oh, two, 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 this is definitely a misinput. Uh, I think maybe he tried to, yeah, he tried to do hammer, um, nice. The, the he tried to, to catch the jump, I think. Yeah, I think so too. And here we go with the optimization station. Couldn't get the conversion, unfortunately, but it's still okay. Too far to get the 2D. Did and here we know? go with Kohide gets grabbed and oh! And that's first! <laughs> the punish on the goal burst was crazy good by Nikozido. The, the, the mind game on this oh, last man. phase was insane. Oh, man. It was crazy oh, good, man. As expected of two extremely strong players, by the way. So yeah, just uh, as expected, I'll say, just as expected. Okay, and that being said, moving on to the next battle, is Kohide going to be able to adapt or is Nikoji just going to take it just like this? We shall see in a couple of seconds, hopefully. Um, hopefully, it's uh, we're going to see some adaptation from Kohide. And that being said, we're going to move to the next battle with... Actually, is there is there any adaptation needed? Because judging from the last round uh, the last match it was pretty even anyway yeah so yeah it's just it's just about who's gonna be more patient than the yeah. other like at, at, at this point we got nice counters nice poke from uh from kohige here because you, you never know when uh he's gonna basically run throw you know so it's, it's since it's so powerful with giovanna got, got the opening now couldn't convert out of this uh, 2s unfortunately there we go 
Oh, he tried to bait the burst there, <laughs> and yeah, again he didn't react. Oh, we missed the gold oh, burst. And from, here we go with the burst. Decided on the gold burst. The gold burst with the Somnashenti will kill definitely, definitely. Oh damn the damage, man! I still cannot comprehend the extent of the damage of the Ventania, man. It's crazy. But that being said, here we go with the start of the round because you gets the heavy now down with the 2D. And here we go with the Schmixes, gets his Potemkin Buster. Here we go with the Aerial Grab, since that Kote wanted to get out of the pressure. And here we go with the Hammer Fall, uh, uh, which was actually cancelled to another Hammer Fall and punished accordingly yep, by Kohide. And here we go with the... Oh, my lord, and go eat the dust. Oh, oh that's I think that was a pretty nice conversion, but yeah, here we go with the Gurude Mega Fist. He does. Oh, the grab. Badly timed meaty by Koide once again. Here we go with the Gurude Impact. Oh, he's making use of. Fine. No. No, this was definitely an input error. The first. Oh, and here we go with the Mega it's Fist. just harassing. Yeah, chip damage, exactly. Very nicely done you by. Wanted, you actually wanted to use the chip damage. Yeah, that's, that's sad to, ha to have seen like this, this missing put after the Gigant of Kai. I, I guess he wanted to do a sweep. Yeah, probably. Try to mix like high low, probably. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Oh, uh, I didn't know this would trade since uh, after it was it was back uh, negative, but whatever. Oh, that was a nice instant block, but unfortunately we unfortunately we got the Abare with the Sol Nash and they leading to uh, war break. We almost full meter. That's it from Kokide's side. Yeah, we have to use to use the meter uh, on Mikazu's side. Oh, that's it. That's it. He has been dodged. And we still full Ooh. meter. He didn't know to use the meter. That's the throw. That's the throw. It's gonna be the last ah, mix. Yeah, and that's it. Kill. That's yeah. it. The dust. Yeah. Because Zidu has, I think he's been hit by every dust that Kohide made, right? Exactly. Yeah. Every single. Well, most of there's only one dust he managed to uh, to to block. I think it was on the first round of the match that we just seen right there when he pushed. Uh, when Nikoji was pushed by Kohide on the left side. At that particular time, uh, Kohide uh, timed his uh, dust on the Okizeme of Nikoji, and Nikoji was able to block it at, at that particular time. But every single other quick dust that Kohide did hit its mark of Nikoji, unfortunately for him. So let's see if Nikoji is going to be able to adapt to it, because uh, yeah, this is definitely not working in his favor. And here we go back to the neutral with Nikoji, unfortunately for him. As soon as I say this, he gets opened by Kohide. He gets ever so slightly. Oh, here we go with the counter hit, the. Um, the Mega Fist, the back Mega Fist counter hit, and again, he's in T corner. He spent most of his time in the corner, to be quite honest. And here we go with the very nice six spear right there from Kohide. Actually, hits Nikoji the other way. Thank you, the uh, very nice hitbox that it has. And here we go with the counter hit that did a lot of damage. And my lord, Kohide did not afraid of anything, just dashing forward, just doing an Asante, man. So crazy. Here we go with the slider head, doesn't hit its mark. And the aerial overdrive gets this time around grabbed by Nikoji. Ooh, oh, the big, oh, the big freaking Garuda impact Potemkin on the back buffed. dash, man. Potemkin buff. Exactly, man. man. It was not, this was not possible before. Yeah. Exactly. You would get a wall. Yeah. The wall bump, maybe. Uh, that pretty. It would. It would. Uh, it would wall wall bounce, and you could yeah, not bounce, get yeah. any any con any conversion out of it. So, That's what I thought. Yeah. Now, now it's good. It's very good that, that you can get that. And oh, we got the conversion. Nice. This is really nice. Uh, hmm. Done from uh, Kohide. We almost full meter. Yeah. We need to use the burst there. Over the wide. This might be the end. Nice Ooh, hammer fall. Okay, we got we got the ground. We got Ooh. the bar also. Conversion. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah. Sometimes, Very nicely done. Yeah. Sometimes it's better not press a button and just input back. <laughs> yeah, but it's scary when you have Potemkin in front of you because you don't want to get yeah. grabbed by it by blocking too much. That's the thing, man. Yeah. You don't like mix. Potemkin is a mix. Close yeah, range, yeah, Potemkin. He's a, <laughs> he's a mix by itself. Oh, he's a mix by himself, <laughs> and he's the embodiment of mixes, man. That being said, very nicely done by Nikoji because, as you have seen, Nikoji has spent most of his time in the corner, just, just, just enduring pressure. So it's extremely um, surprising and uh, and uh, and uh, how do you say, um, commanding of him to be actually able to take two. Uh, matches off of Kohide because as you see as I say this he's already in the corner again just having to uh, to submit to this pressure and here we go finally forced to burst and here we go he gets the uh, hammer oh! oh is he gonna get no entire red there Kohide takes this chance to yet again 
uh, hit him with a quick dust Roman cancel into the wall break this is going to give him a positive bonus that being said uh, Nikoji does have one tension bar here we go with the tick throw from Kohide trying to bait something I don't know quite oh my lord the no, sound take counter this is going to kill very nicely done by Kohide takes the first round again again <laughs> this is not the first time he takes the first round <laughs> yeah that's Mm. That's right, but like, you, you never know when Nico Zilu is gonna, he's gonna, you know, I don't know, maybe pop off or, or something like that. Because basically, what, what I see from Nico Zilu's game plan is that they just use back Megafist to put themselves in the corner, then just go for like, come on, boy, come try yeah, me. <laughs> exactly, man. Come, and come then test me. Finishes yeah. to catch. Finally, there's a dust that's been blocked from yeah, Nico Zilu. Yeah. It won't be enough to stop uh, Kohidi's pressure. Yeah, we already got a wall break. We got Ooh. some meter. Need to use the burst oh, there. It's blocked. And that's the burst bait. That burst bait hurt a lot. Nice one. And just like this, Kohide puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen, going down to the final match of this set. Who is going to take it? Is it going to be Nikoji with the Potemkin or Kohide with... Giovanna, we shall see in a couple of seconds. This is really, really tight, man. It, it's been a lot more one-sided before the patch, I feel. Kohide tended to, like, take it uh, rather convincingly, like, 3-1 to one or 3-0. to zero. But, yeah, Nikozia right now is looking pretty good, man. Looking really, really good. So, that being said, here we go with you. Exactly, man. With the dash, standing S counter hit right there from Kohide. Manages to push Nikozia in the corner. No burst from him. He's holding on to it. Hopefully, uh, he, that was the great decision. We shall see again with the dash, man. The dash is really, really doing a number on Nikoji right there. Of course, he's not going to burst right there since he doesn't have any health anymore. And this is going to kill. Very nicely done by Koi. He takes it with a perfect, by the way. Damn. Dude, this, round, this round was so fast. We got the feeling he didn't even start it. Exactly, man. All but, Kohide. Yeah, and, and Kohide still has his burst. Thanks for Nikoji. He still has his ones. Uh, two, yeah, unfortunately the slide head is still only one hit armor, so it can stop like Giovanna's multi-hit moves. And yeah, we are forced to use the burst there. We got <coughs> one meter, we got <coughs> almost full, full resources uh, for Kohide. That's pretty pretty hard to handle the pressure mm. here for Nikozu. Yeah, he lost patience. He thought he could <laughs> press a button, but unfortunately you can't. You get the max. Oh, look at the Man, damage for the damage. Even, on, even on the Jemkin, that's, that's like insane. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he, don't, he doesn't know what to do basically here. Exactly. He's highly uh, leveled, Melia, by the way. I Melia, cannot, who has received a lot of buffs. This. Yeah, uh, let me check. I didn't check. <laughs> I can't pronounce this. Like Z F E N E L E L E L E F E L E F E I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but, anyways, that being said, we'll just call him Yuki. <laughs> it's gonna be easier. Yeah, let's, and, call, uh, let's call him Yuki. Exactly. And Yuki is uh, currently. Uh, rocking Milia, Milia who has benefited from a lot of buffs from my understanding of the patches. Yes. So yes, let's see got, how this she ends got some up. Really good wow! Buffs. Oh, look at this! That was a very nice conversion. Damn, very nicely done. Yeah, this was yeah. not possible before since exactly. he got less recovery on the on the the, the, the flower capital. Yeah, and here we go with the overdrive. He's gonna get a hard knockdown. How is this going to pan out? Oh, here we go. A good old IAD uh, H. Very nicely done. Is uh, he takes the first round? The first round, yes. This is an aura battle. Like it seems like uh, we got more defense in neutral from uh, from Jacko now, but actually Milia can now get basically really fast on onto you. So yeah, that's it. Once you get the mix, you're in the blender, and that's it. We got everything uh, for. What, what is it? Yuhi? Yeah, I could, I'm trying to read the, their name, but yeah. <laughs> I always forget. I always forget. Yuhi, this, this will deal a, a ton of damage. Maybe it will. Yeah, I think. I don't Almost think it will. Yeah, we got, we got the burst. We got the burst from from caffeine there. And yeah, we got we got some mix. We got to, gotta 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 be careful with the um, the 2D. Basically, that was a really nice confirm with exactly. the PRC just to get just to get the right enough damage. To, to win the match. Exactly. And a quick first round for you. He takes it extremely convincingly. Caffeine seemed a little bit lost, to be honest. I don't know if it's due to character knowledge or to the fact that he didn't expect that uh, Yuhi was such a good player. But yeah, Yuhi definitely a very strong performance on his first match. Let's see if Caffeine can find the adjustment necessary to try to bring it back. And on to the 
first round of the second match. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go. 2D neutral and uh, Yuhi taking 2D out to try to close the distance. You can see Caffeine. Caffeine trying to probably find a timing to uh, put a little bit more minions on the uh, stage to try to pressure uh, Yuhi. And here we go. Yeah, oh my lord. Yeah, Caffeine taking some big risk to just take it to the air because you can see that Yuhi is just waiting on the ground. And here we go with the buff, the attack buff from... Uh, I think that was actually the um, the bar buff from Yuhi, but Yuhi, standing strong, was able to uh, to live through all of this pressure, man. They had the wrist, man. Just going down. This is such a wasted opportunity by Oh Caffeine. Here we go with the empty grab by uh, Yuhi. Yuhi definitely feeling himself, and here he goes with the overhead into the wall break. Quick first round as well this time around. Very nicely done by Yuhi. This melee is on fire already. Indeed, yeah, man. Insane. We, yeah, once, uh, as I say, once you get into Melia's blender, that's that's basically how Look at that. You don't know if it's right and left. Now that she, uh, yeah, she has basically less recovery than before. She can mix you even better. Get uh, get into the, the offense basically in a way better way. Uh, and oh my lord, low health, but still managed to get a uh, counter hit. Couldn't, couldn't actually convert out of it. Yeah, now we can enjoy the, the shield. You can enjoy actually the servant skill because now they have deal damage. Oh, that's it's gonna deal a lot of damage. Oh, is it gonna hit? Is this super it's gonna hit? Definitely gonna yeah, hit. Well, yeah, we're close enough, and that's the first round taken for Caffeine, I think. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Exactly, he takes the. It's his first round uh, during this set. Hopefully, he's gonna be able to take a second one as well. Very nice start of the round. That being said, by Caffeine. Oh, almost baited the burst. I feel, but a little bit too early on his uh, attempt to uh, press buttons. And here we go, oh, unfortunately for him, he is in the corner, very nice 2D right there, actually catches the backdash attempts from Yushi, and here we go, the pressure is real. Oh my lord, and Yushi just running straight, but unfortunately for him, he gets sweeped off, swept off by Caffeine, and Caffeine puts one on the board as well. We have one match apiece, ladies and gentlemen, very nicely done by, by Caffeine. That's what I call a cool comeback. That was a very nice combat, by the way. Yeah. I definitely this, agree. This was this was actually very nice. Like we saw, like earlier, that uh, Yuhi got the pressure, he got the momentum all along. But for this match, for the last round specifically, we yeah. got like a huge comeback uh, from Caffeine. That was that was really cool. Exactly. Very and there we go. I think I think we got we already got adapted, and we got the gold burst from both sides. Yeah, that's that's cool. We, we start the game. Uh, on a good uh, uh, on a good way. That's it. We're gonna no. We get the super reversal. That's gonna oh, get Lord. blocked and our seed. I think we got we don't, didn't manage to get the block and that's the wire seed. Oh Lord! The finish. What is this? Look at. Oh, I love this. I already love this counter. I love yeah. this confirm. Actually, yeah, this is so cool. That was pretty. Now nice. you can use Capel in. You, you can reuse Capel in, uh, in in combos. That's 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 so cool. I love it. Yeah, still got the, the pressure with the, the minions here. No, you won't approach me, he says. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. Now back to the corner. What is this? Confirm! With the bad moon. Yeah, that's confirmed maybe who's it's got, gonna like, hit. No, they, yeah. no he decided oh, to not the use bad moon, the, the meter. And it's, it's fine because it will kill anyway. Very nicely done by you. He man puts one round on the board as well what is caffeine going to do and here we go the double air dash and the nice air confirms by yushi this guy has been so, what really on point on his air to air uh maneuvers man always punishing caffeine whenever he takes right. to the air and here we go finally caffeine finds a timing to put some minions on the screen this might help him to keep a little bit of pressure going on but yeah, I'm not, I mean, you can see like uh, just Yuhi being extremely slippery, not wanting to stay on the ground as a Melia player should. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the empty <laughs> low by Yuhi. He's gonna get the wall break. Yes, he is. Here we go with the positive bonus. Okay, it's not a hard knockdown, so Caffeine is. Lord, man, this is so scary. You can see Yuki just running straight at you, not scared at all, man. Of, of like, and oh my lord, yeah. You, uh, Caffeine definitely needs this one. Very nice entire by Caffeine. Okay, probably noticed that, yeah, Yuki is taking to the air a little bit too much. Here we go, Caffeine forced to burst. And speaking of which, Yuki just got his burst as well, so this is definitely 
a oh, and very nice, nice. Oh. this time around by Caffeine, who was able to hit him out of the air, but again, the air to air, but oh, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was that was really good. So, uh, Yuhi noticing them. that uh, at the end of a block stream by Caffeine, he takes out a um, um, a minion, and he either jumps and throw the minions, or backdash and throw the minions. And at the end sequence, Yuhi noticed this, and both of the times caught Caffeine jumping with the minion and backdashing with the minion. So you can see a lot of adaptation by Yuhi right there. Caffeine is in really dire straight. I think his uh, attack plan has been uh, noticed by Yuhi. Hopefully for him, he's going to have something in his sleeve in order to reverse the momentum, because this is definitely going in Yuhi's favor as of now. Oh lord, that was a very nice entire. Yep. I was on something else. That's okay, it's okay. And just like this, here we go with yep. Caffeine. Right, so we already got the burst uh, used on, on both sides, actually. Yeah, we got uh, actually the good pressure. We see that every time yeah. there is a release in a Caffeine's pressure, like just to take a minion or recall it, yeah. we got like a huge a dash from from you there so like hey you, you give me you give me one frame i'm gonna enjoy it my dude yeah look <laughs> at this look at that he's already in the corner already in the corner right right pressuring oh there we go right. yeah, okay that, that one killed that one killed but still so that was a really very very good confirm we are pretty well oh i thought it was the 6p that uh, had the counter hit here but hey nice confirm again the 2d into the tandem top s version That's very nice. nicely done again by yushi man takes it so convincingly caffeine has some problems fighting his pudding right there to be quite honest very nice with punish on the 2d by yushi using the 2d himself to get the hard knockdown here we go caffeine fighting to get out of the corner unfortunately gets counter hit on his way out and juggled like there's no tomorrow man and oh my lord you, you can see like the pressure is endless from you he just unwilling to give some breathing space to caffeine man and rightfully so if you might say but uh it's so crazy man and here we go with the air maneuvers from yuhi he's gonna get the conversion off of the roman cancel and just like this the juggle again if caffeine gets open one more time it's bye bye for him okay here we go yeah you can see yuhi trying to fish for some um some hits and very nice crossover oh. what was that oh. The, oh, the punish on the, the YRC. Yes, good punish. stuff. That, good stuff from Caffeine. That Caffeine's. was so good. Mm. That was so good. Caffeine did an amazing job here, like reading every option this yeah. woman has used. That, that was that was really really insane. Oh, <laughs> you got the less shaker. I know you won't approach me. Stay in the corner. I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank and you very much for the follow, by the way. Sommet Esports. Et bienvenue chez les Bonjour. Yes, bonjour, bienvenue. There we go, now we got the, the neutral pressure. Yeah, I, I think Cafe noticed that um, as, as Amelia, Yuhi likes to approach uh, from the air, right? So this might uh, be just has to. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's not over. Do, does he get an OTG? No, he doesn't. There's the YRC here. Oh, and the and air to air for the win. <laughs> see, yeah. I, I told you, like, every time, every time yeah. he knows that. Rest lethal, actually, so we shall see how this pans out. Ram Lethal against Nagori Yuki, Mugi Nagori Yuki, Tsuzura, Ram Lethal, here we go. Both uh, characters apparently have been affected by uh, some minor nerfs, I suppose. Well, minor or yeah, but, you know, but, major but nerfs. but buffs overall. <laughs> and also he buffs as well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, you say Nago. <laughs> exactly, so we shall see how this ends up. Here we go, Tsuzura making good job of keeping Mugi out. Already in the corner, he gets oh. the burst. Mate, this is going to do a ton of damage. <laughs> My lord, very nice br burst bait right there. And here we go back to the pressure from Nag oh, from, from um, Ram Lethal. And here we go again. Yeah, Ram has two bars, by the way. So yeah, that was basically the end, yeah. That was checkmate. Very nice stuff from Suzura. Yeah, I I think that overall Ram Lethal yeah, wins the matchup over, over no, Nagoriki. Thanks, I think for, so thanks too. to Swords, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's still... Ooh, that's a, that's a nice punish, like the mash 5 feet. It, it's so strong with Nagoriyuki, you like to, you like to see it. Okay, okay, there goes the burst. 
from Realm Lethal. This is this is not plus because it was hit like way too high from a Goryuki. <laughs> nice, nice backdash is punished here. Yeah, we got the we got the bar. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it will kill. We don't know. Nice. No, Almost though. One pixel. Yeah. One pixel, man. Yeah, but you know what? Nagoryuki can deal cheap damage. So yeah, that's exactly. Fine. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and on to the third <laughs> round of this iteration. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice, my lord. Very nice conversion from Mugi already. <laughs> Gets his opponent down half half this with half health. That was crazy good. Here we go with the grab, and he could have taken it by the way if your Roman cancel at that particular time, but it's still okay. Here we go with the relentless pressure and the ram slam into the Roman cancel. This is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not over till it's over. You can see that um, Mugi does not have burst. It only takes like two hits right there. Well, two openings from Suzura to get the kill. Oh my lord, he's going ham. And no, 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 don't. No. Okay, here we go. Oof, that was close. Yeah, very nicely done by Suzura. Gets the kill. Very nice, man. Good recognition from Suzura. At first, I thought that he was going on and tried to do an Okizeme, but at that particular time, uh, Mugi had blood explosion, so his blood uh, blood rage was was full. So I thought he was gonna get hit by this, but. Fortunately, uh, Tsuzura was the most intelligent. He just backdashed at that time and was able to get the punish on the recovery of the uh, blood explosion, I guess, the blood burst, you say. That makes it. Here we go. One uh, blood match rage? for blood rage, yeah? The blood blood rage. Yeah, we uh, actually, we, we use to call it blood rage. Okay, then blood rage it is. And on to the next battle. Yeah, actually, it's uh, Tsuzura making the, the Nago matchup look easy, you know? <laughs> Yeah, he does, man. <laughs> but it's not that easy. That's, Definitely. That's oh, look at that. that that's, that, is it confirmable? No, we, we are going to get a throw instead. And that's it. There's there's the pressure. No, no, where did that come from? Like, JK, JK. I believe this was not possible before, but now with the JK overall buff from the game, this is now a new a new available wrap. That's already the end. If it breaks the wall, not quite early yet. That's it. No, the, did you see that? The reverse dust? That was crazy, man. That reverse dust <laughs> that was, was crazy reverse dust. good. Where, where are we? This is not Guilty Gear. This is, we are we in Smash Brothers, dude. Exactly. And just like this, <laughs> here we go with Tsuzura up one round. And Mugi doing a very good job of recognizing the counter hit on his 2S into the for SHS, very ah, that's a yeah, that's um a questionable use of the burst right there from Tuzura. Unfortunately for him, he is. What the hell happened? What the hell is that? I think that Why? was definitely a misinput. Why? Yeah, that was definitely a misinput. Yeah, I think, I think so. yeah, Mugi's starting to feel himself a lot. Here we go, my lord, the double Fukio in and out, and he tried to grab him, but a little bit too high for this. And here we go with the follow up of the Shizuriyuki with DDP for the win by Mugi. Very nicely done. Yeah, very, very nicely done. But I believe it's still uh, it's match point for uh, Tuzura, right? Um, oh no, it's one. Oh, it's one. Oh, actually, uh, never yeah, mind. My bad. I thought it was two, like because yeah, the previous match was so fast. <laughs> I, know, right? I know it's so crazy, <laughs> but no, it's actually just one round, one one match for uh, Tuzura right now. And here we go with the 2S into the 4S. Ah, yeah, and Mugi looking very good right now. This, ah, sh and... this is actually no opportunity to use the burst by Tsuzura. This is unfortunate for him, but that being yeah, said, maybe, very nicely done. Mm. Maybe Tsuzura wanted to use uh, his super as a reversal here, yeah. but he didn't have the meter for it, so yeah. maybe they in inverted the bars, you know, sometimes happens. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. This is so, unfortunate for him. <laughs> probably. But, yeah, unfortunate for him, but still, it's, uh, there. there's still, he has one match down, so it's definitely not completely over for him. He does have the opportunity to try to shift not the momentum because it's actually pretty tight. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty, um, pretty, uh, yeah, pretty tight. So we we'll, shall see how this pans out. We go with Mugi using again the Konsetsu to try to close the gap between him and his opponent. Here we go with the aerial overhead by Tsuzura. <laughs> oh my lord, the air to air in favor of Mugi. He successfully pushes Tsuzura ever so slightly in the corner. Here we go with the side switch though. And the second hit of the wreck, yeah, counter it. This did a lot of damage, unfortunately for him. He wasn't able to juggle off of it. Here we go, the ramp pressure back in business. And here we go, the very nice 2S counter right there from Mugi, man. Oh, okay, here we go, the Nago pressure. What are you gonna do, Tsuzura? And the whiff punish on the way down using the overhead was crazy. Goodbye, Mugi. No tension mark to try to get the overdrive. This is unfortunate for him. 
Here we go back to Neutron, that with Punisher using the forehead. Oh, oh, oh my lord! Hail Mary by Tezuda on set point, man. Oh, and not set point actually. Oh, not set point. This is one one round of peace. No, it's, this is, it's, it's, it's it's one one. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. Right. Piece. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you got you got mixed less, like as I as exactly. <laughs> I got mixed. <laughs> it's a one round of peace. Here we go with Tsuzura uh, leading though this match. But that being said, here we go. You can see that there, Tsuzura has a large life deficit. He does have burst, but he might want to keep it for the next round. Here we go. Oh my lord. Mugi probably tried to uh, read a. Oh my lord. The wake up overdrive. Kaboom. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, and that's the end. yeah, unfortunately, we missed we missed um, the Rekka cancel on Tsuzura's side. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that cost them the, the round, unfortunately. That was unfortunate. And here yeah, we go with we got, the onslaught. We got the pressure, yeah. we got some Fukio. The, the, the way, like, Tsuzura escaped the, the corner, like, so easily. I wonder if it's, like, a Ram Lethal thing, or, or if he's just good. <laughs> and I actually don't know, but right anyway, there. there we got the corner, we got the dust. We, we prefer to keep the meter here on Tsuzura's side, which is not a bad decision, I think, which is a pretty good idea. There we go, we got the corner pressure, the 6P on the blade! Holy hell, <laughs> on the sword! That was pretty good, yeah. yeah. Ooh, and yeah, this, this should this do, is, actually. This, this, this is actually, gonna do, yeah. Uh, this was actually always possible, but the timing is super, super tight. It is. It and is, it there is. we go. It's 2-1 for our Ram Lethal. Yeah. I know why you are for uh, the Nagoriyuki's players, uh, Same. Because ah, okay, okay. <laughs> they have they have Hor Orochi, you know? The, the ah, French guy. Yeah, who, Orochi, who got, Orochi, yeah. The French guy who, who got, I think it, it was third. Second place. Uh, 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 13th. Yeah, it was 13th at Combo Breaker. Oh, yeah, he was, he was. Score. He was, he was, he was. He was a uh, very, very nice uh, performance by Orochi, by the way. Fellow Frenchman, yeah, extremely yeah. good Nagoriyuki player. He's our, he's our top one French player, officially. Exactly. <laughs> I hope that uh, he likes the uh, changes that Nagoriyuki was uh, affected by, hopefully. First time ever here in the first matchup that I'm watching is Ram Lethal, my first character, versus my actual one, Nago. That's funny, huh? That's good, that's, uh, <laughs> that's destiny, man. <laughs> Okay, and that being said, here we go on to the next battle. Very nice conversion. Nice conversion. Oh, you love man. to see it. That is so cool, man. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, almost got the wall splat right. Oh, okay, okay. But he has another bar to make it safe. Yeah, so he has to... Oh, my lord. That was really cheeky. But unfortunately for him, Mugi was aware of this uh, mix-up. Didn't get the kill, unfortunately. Oh, and here, two are in favor of... Conversion. Probably couldn't get the kill, this is fucking Again, with the aerial special, the double blade as, slap as right there. We got, uh, what's the name again? Agresa Ordono or something I, I, like this? I don't like know, the, man. The name, Ram yeah, Lethal's never, names are so complicated. Yeah, I hate them. I never remember them, that's the problem, man. But that being said, we're on match point right there for Suzura. What is Mugi gonna do? Is he gonna be able to eliminate Mugi? That would be a very big feat by itself. And here we go with the confirmed overdrive right there from Mugi. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill by any means, but it's definitely going to uh, to 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 hurt. And uh, yeah, and you, it will it will empty the blood gauge. That is the most important. Actually. Exactly, and very nice and spacing no for need, Mugi, man. No need for any special. We got the spacing. We got the godlike 5k, and that's it. And it's uh, uh, yeah, it's still match point. We got another one. So, but uh, maybe, maybe. This is that down, going can, down to the wire, man. And here we go yeah, with yeah, the follow up and the chase, thought. man. Yeah, oh, but that's Lord. it. That's, oh, Caught what? you flinch. Caught you flinch. Yeah, we better uh, look at uh, look at the, the back dash. Like I, I got that Nagoriyuki once in the corner. Nagoriyuki player likes to back dash most of the time because they don't have any other option. Like your jump is basically oh, the back dash is, is really strong oh. for them. And and that's oh. it. And he he's always what being caught. That's that's gonna be blocked. That's gonna oh. be blocked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, very nicely done by Tsuzura, we're Why? down to the wire, and oh, my lord, the cojones, the cojones, here we go, the, the cojones, oh, the command cut, oh, no, no, the back dash on the freaking command grab was crazy, versus Tsuzura, this is the loser's semi-final, really, really looking forward to this, let's see how this pans out, so, uh, just to let you know, it's very difficult, it's very difficult, Alright, so we start already. Couldn't get the confirm out of the 214k. 
from Rem Lethal, but that is fine. Yeah, we are in the corner. Good catch here. Couldn't manage to get the conversion, but that is fine. Yeah, we got the burst without the sword. That, that is actually a good point for Yuhi here, but never mind. Because we got look at the damage. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, damn. We got a good start from Zura here. Yeah, now we just get to play patiently, play neutral, and we're going to get it. But that's it, that's the Melia Blender. We get the super immediately after the the command dash. That is actually good damage from, from Yuhi here. We, we we are not used to see Melia actually um, doing some damage. That's, that's, is that the comeback? That's the comeback that's gonna break the wall and kill! That's the first round from Yuhi. Very, very good plays. That was nice. That was very, very nice. Okay, here again we got the the mix. Tried to 6P the 2 1 4K, didn't manage to get it, but that is fine on both sides. Uh, they are pretty even. We got the burst uh, recovered from uh, Tsuzura. Yeah, we got, we got the hit. That was the jump S, I believe that was actually a uh, missing put. Yeah, to, to do the, the jump S special. The aggressor donor or, or whatever it's called, <laughs> but is it actually the end? If it if it kills, nah, it won't kill. We got too many scaling uh, due to the damage, but still, still we are in pretty good shape on Yuhi's side. Yeah, on the what was that nice six P? That was that was the nice. I don't know if it was a reaction or a read actually on this two one four K, but still it was really really good play. Like man, this Sabro battle that uh, that I just used. <laughs> That was pretty, pretty ballsy, I would say. <laughs> and we are 1-0 um, in you, his favor. Let's see if Tsuzura can actually um, adapt to his opponent's gameplay, because we saw that during the first round, uh, Tsuzura was in pretty good shape, but Yuhi managed to adapt in, in crazy speed. And that seems to be uh, actually yeah, he's against. We got Yuhi getting getting the pressure, forcing Tuzura to use their burst here. Yeah, we use the 2 1 4 k immediately after the 2 1 4 k I, I think that um, yeah, Yuhi saw that Tuzura likes to like dash 2k or something, so they just go for an, uh, an instant air dash, jump HS, and to get the, the opening. And that's already the end of the first yeah. one. Yuhi is rocking on fire, hard, man. man. It's Easy. He's on fire. He is definitely on fire. They're doing a good job of just containing Tsuzura and just maneuvering over and around his yeah. offense. And again, just pressing buttons at exactly the right moment to uh, to interrupt whatever Tsuzura is trying to do. Here we go again with the wake up mix up by Yuhi going up, down, going every single possible direction that is uh, going to open his opponent. And here we go again in the corner. Tsuzura looking. Looking extremely lost right there, just just to be really quite honest, here we go with the MT low, he's gonna get the wall grab, the wall break, not grab, and here we go, yep, my lord, the 6p counter hit into death, my lord, Yuhi on freaking fire, takes another one extremely convincingly, man, Whew. Yuhi's so strong, Tuzura can't even adapt, yeah, man, it's crazy, man, like, don't know, like, he, he doesn't know at all how, what, what to do, basically, during the, during the pressure phase, that's that's insane. Like, as a um, a good caster, good French caster that I like would say, mix. <laughs> exactly. That's all. Mix. <laughs> this is a pretty big mix indeed. And just like this, we're on to potentially the final match of this set, man. That have been that's that was so quick, man. But that's to be expected of somebody who's able to defeat Nekoji, I'd say, to be honest. So anyways, that being said, here we go on to the first round of potentially the last match of the set. Very nice, confirmed by you. He opens his, open it up and also forces the burst upon them. Oh, here we go. Very nice aerial oh. HS by Tsuzura. Got the counter hit. Didn't force the burst uh, upon upon Yuhi, unfortunately for him. Here we go. And again, Yuhi is staying extremely mobile. It, remaining extremely slippery. Going with the empty mode this time around. Gonna get the wall break, no overdrive, but it's uh, probably best this way. He's gonna get two uh, positive, uh, he's gonna get two bars of tension like this. Up four, yeah, this is gonna kill definitely. Yeah, here we go with the overdrive, very nicely done by Yuhi on set point right there, match point. That's how this uh, pans out. Yuhi is working so hard, like, we, we barely have the time to see what 
he's doing that it's already he's already doing like something else that is also crazy you know it's crazy yeah that's man. it we got we got the mix he was behind this time it's gonna attack the wall no because we got the burst right on time and that's it we got this this confirm this confirm will it lead to uh, a super now again we prefer to use uh, to keep the, the the meter just to have a better um options during during pressure you know and that's block that's block and that's the end that's it and that's the Lord, point. That's that was the set so quick final finally so RX against Kohide. This is going to be crazy. How is this going to pan out? I do not know. We shall see. And here we go. Quick start of the round with a very nice 2S counter hit by RX. Oh, and Kohide not afraid to just freaking dash straight and use the 2S. He gets the counter hit off of it, but unfortunately for him, RX reverses the on the, the offense and oh and Kohide, it's impossible to contain this dude, man. Already out of the corner with the grab, pushes RX ever so slightly in the corner. Okay, and back to the neutral. Here we go with RX using a very really using the mix of both, not really a mix, but using the uh the, um, the zoning capacities of the harbinger so efficiently. Okay, here we go. How, this is going to do, do a lot of damage, how, man. How do you call it? The Harbinger? It's Arbiter sign. Ah, I don't know why I call it the Harbinger. The Harbiter. I don't know. Uh, well, Arbiter it's the Harbiter. Sign. Okay, yeah. well, any I, I like the Harbinger, though. I don't know why it, it sounded pretty nice. But anyways, it's Harbiter, so let's call it the Harbiter, then. Harbiter. <laughs> Very nicely done. All right. And we go still we, we got like the a good uh, uh good basically the patient right now from uh ah, unfortunately this this wolfling but still we got the mix he was behind with the stain we got to manage to get a small conversion still that's it it's ah it's hit yeah he pressed the button yeah i believe it was a far slash uh, uh i don't i don't know why he would uh, try to entire somebody with the far slash but why not? Oh, that's the, and that's the crow oh, that, that will hit. Oh, nice, nice. Are you the serious? The, yeah, this oh. counter poke with the stain is deadly, man. Exactly, man. Oh my lord! And our eggs doing a good job of just zoning, man. Zoning overall using the arbiter sign and the stain as well. But this time around, Kohide found his way on top of Testament's head. Here we go, Sepultura into the back dash. Oh, but here we go with our eggs just contesting, man. Good testing the Kohide and deny him his approach, man. Kohide not afraid to just freaking dash straight and try to get out of the corner. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Oh, no! Oh, and the air grab for the win. That was clutch, man. Very nicely done. Barrex puts one on the board and takes the lead over Kohide. This is crazy good. Man, I I, I love the way RX uses their uh, Arbiter sign, you know, because this move basically before the patch was garbage. It was the worst special yeah. that any character could have. And now that the recovery has been reduced, like RX likes to abuse it and they're right because the yeah. move now is really, really viable. It is, it is, man. It's really viable. See it. Oh my lord, and here we go with the... Uh, with the uh, spiral arrow right there goes right through the skulls of RX. Very nice use. Oh, and here we go. One of the nerfs of Giovanna. It is exponentially harder to juggle on the 2D counter hit right now for Giovanna. As you could have seen right there, this would have been a very easily confirmed and a carry combo for Kohide, but unfortunately for him, this has been nerfed. Here we go. However, with Kohide and the onslaught, he gets the wall break and the uh, spiral arrow yet again to go through. Uh, well, to actually catch the backdash of our X, and just like this, Kohide is going to take it very nicely done. Yeah, very, very nicely done. He was, he was actually super fast, and there's the clash with the sweep gonna allow uh, RX to get the oh, the full conversion with the stain. It will hit the wall. Look at the damage. This yeah, is the actually damage very, actually did some pretty damage. nice damage. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> very cool good damage, damage from. Right there. From Testament here, nice. We got very, very nice zoning here with the 2G from Kohide. And that's it. We, he must be careful though, because we see that there is there are two bars of Testament saying that's it. Oh, he tried to press a button while uh, RX still has a meter to, to make it safe. Oh, that is, oh, 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 let's see this 5P yeah. conversion. That's that's already the round, man. 
That was crazy clutch right there. Again, RX bringing it back, man. It's so crazy. It's so clutch <laughs> to see him. It's, it, and he's been doing this really consistently. And here we go back. Oh, and this time around catches the dash into a 4S attempt from Kohide. Oh. Punishes him accordingly. Very nice teleport. Gets out of the corner. Oh, my lord. Reads the... Uh, oh, oh lord in the confirmed this is, is gonna is do gonna a lot of that he's gonna hit he's gonna hit definitely oh, yeah. he's gonna do a lot of them and here we go kohide in like state states oh no and okay well why not why not it works as long as it works and rx man on the verge of sending kohide to the losers bracket this is something i i would have never guessed man rx on freaking fire man the buffs are definitely working in his favor i hope that's the case but Man, it's so crazy. Cool, he is struggling right now. He's struggling. Like, quite simply, he's struggling. It's crazy. Okay, anyways, here we go on to potentially uh, the last match of this set, man. With Kohid on the verge of getting sent to the loser's bracket. Yeah, it would be the first time, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, because because uh, I believe Darwino already managed to send Kohide on yeah, the other yeah. side. Yeah, but I mean, Kohide uh, sent, being sent to the loser side by the Testament is, like, unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, anybody being sent by yeah. the Testament, actually. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, new, you know, it's a... But yeah, Testament yeah. seeming pretty strong, actually. Yeah, looking pretty strong. The yeah, 6 uh, HS. Uh, by a whole mid here, I think. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, but right now the 6HS has been like, uh, the, the startup has been uh, excellent, it, it, it's been shortened, the, the startup, and yeah. I think the, the startup of it, uh, their 2HS also has been shortened, I'm not quite sure for the 2HS though, don't, don't quote me. I think I it has been shortened. I actually don't know, it's, oh yeah. I thought the 6P would hit on this, because he was already started, but no, so it managed to hit it again. The corner pressure, or, or not, like, you don't, you don't corner pressure me, oh what was Lord. that, what was that, alright, oh, okay. And on to that was that holy freaking lord, RX on the verge of sending Kohide to the losers. But we not just this, with not only with Testament, but with a clean 3 0. But wait, 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 it's still not over till it's over. Let's see how this pans out. But Kohide definitely struggling right now, man. Definitely struggling to like get his pace on. And here we go with a far. That was a far HS, I believe. A counter hit into the full combo. He's gonna get not uh, Vent Ventania. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Ventania wall break. How is this going to pan out? Okay, here we go. Oh, he did. What is he gonna do? And here we go. The Golden Birds. This is what he needed. Very this nice. This is actually oh. fine. This yeah. is actually fine for uh, RX here because yeah. Kohide didn't actually need to use the meter yeah. for his bar, so he basically wasted it. So yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, we got the burst use <laughs> here on RX side and uh, got the zoning at the end. That's it. Crouch confirm now. now apparently <laughs> now Giovanna don't. She doesn't have to crouch confirm the Trova. She can actually immediately confirm out of it, like even on standing opponent, which is actually pretty cool for uh, for Giovanna. Oh, did she low profile? Oh, that? Yeah. I think he, I, low I, profile, yeah, yeah. he low profiled it. He actually low profiled thought, yeah. it. So he did take his first match of the set. Finally, I jinxed it. Will we I see? It. <laughs> a, yeah, apparently I, I saw I saw a pretty good adaptation here from yeah. Kohide because no I, I noticed like during this last match he made way more uh, Trovao in neutral <laughs> than before, mm. which is actually fine because it beats the Grave Reaper and the um, the Crow. Agreed. So RX needs RX needs actually to adapt. To, to this Trovo so basically I guess they just have to wait for yeah. the Trovo to be sent and 6p it? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, definitely Trovo, uh, Trovo and also the uh, spinning, the, the uh, spiral arrow has, uh, wait, Trovo is the spiral arrow, I'm stupid, but yeah, the, the Trovo yes. has been dealing <laughs> a lot of problems for uh, RX and RX needs to find an adapt adaptation, either 6p it like recognizing that uh, Gohide is going to uh, launch it and then 6 ping it or doing something because this has been killing him like for the past the past like three rounds and uh, yeah you can see that Gohide did yeah he, he definitely changed his game plan it's definitely working in his favor right now thank you very much for the follow Don, uh, John Dikoff and welcome to the Brojo again with the Trovo man we are on the road of a reverse, reverse trio, I think. Yeah, it's possible. It's, it's definitely now. Yeah, especially not now that, that he, I, I don't know if you've seen, but the last round he killed with chip damage. Now Giovanna yeah. can deal chip damage when he's uh, above yeah. 50% 50, 50 of meter. Exactly, man.
Yeah, but still we got, okay, we got uh, again a good pressure. We got the burst from uh, our side. We got, oh, that's 6 beam, man. This is going to do a lot of damage. This, yeah. yeah, this is going to do a lot of damage. Break the wall, apply the stain. Yeah, the 6 H between uh, the two hits of the super deals. A ton of damage, that's it. Yeah, he better Ooh, press it. the that's 6 B, the man. Kill. And it's again match. Point Points. for RX here. Exactly. So how is RX going to find the opening and quick freaking first burst? And again, the Troval, which has been the bane of our x men Oh, very nice idea out of the corner. Oh, this is a very dangerous spot for Kohide. Forces to burst. Oh, and here we go with the knockdown. He's going to get stained. And Kohide problem looking to use the aerial overdrive. Finds the Troval opening instead. And here we go with the quick Dust, Roman Cancel is gonna get full combo. No Ventania though to break the wall, but it's still okay. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, two, 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 and the quick dust again for the opening. This is gonna kill. No, he drops it, but it's okay. Still okay. Lord, Kohide puts one on the board, and we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Two match a piece. This is crazy, man. Kohide did not going down yeah, without a fight. We were like, he's gonna win 3 0, but now it's 2 2. Yeah, yeah, man. I told you, we we are on the, the reverse 3 0 yeah. route. We definitely are, man. This, this is crazy. This is, this is the route that you love to see, basically. You love like, to see, but you hate from to see as well. Ko Ko yeah, you hate to see it, but Kohide likes it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's crazy. Very nicely done, anyways, by Kohide. Oh, finally, finally, finally the punish. Yeah, the punish on the. And that's Trabal. it! Now it's 6 billion! Oh, look at this! This is so cool! Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. And the grab. Oh, and the 2S to catch the backdash attempt right there. No Ventania to get the heavy knockdown, but it's still okay. <laughs> My lord, just dash into the, 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 the Nasante. This is crazy. Oh, oh, Lord, in the teleport to catch. Oh, and the oh. juggle that was... Oh, what the verge of killing, by the way. And again, the Arbiter for the kill. Very nicely done by RX. Man, Match point. If Kohide, if Kohide didn't burst this far slash, the conversion would have been sick. I swear. This would have been completely sick. Okay, oh, now we got, and again, uh, finally, we, we didn't see it again. Yeah, we didn't manage to six speed. Now we got the... The opening with the 2S, yeah, good good pressure. We are at 50% of meter, so now we can start dealing cheap damage. Oh no! Oh, 6P, yeah. He, he's been 6P, that's, that's sad. Oh, okay, thanks to the, the faultless defense, the 5D didn't hit. Like, send, okay, send the crow, send the crow. Watch out, he's in the air. Okay, that's a hit, so we can land safely the crow. This is so tense, this is so tense. Okay, the crow hit again. Again. And then counter yet. Not enough, but we got a meter, we got a bar of meter. Oh. But yeah, you saw too much in the future, man. Yeah, yeah. So he, he has the correct read, but yeah, he launched it a little bit too early. Yeah, yeah especially when Trovao must not be read, he must be reacted. That's yeah, the whole exactly, thing. That's yeah. it, exactly, yeah. exactly like this. Oh, here we go. Here we go, big damage incoming. And here we go, you are stained, sir. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Cool kid is in dire straight right now. He's going to get stained plus Okizeme for RX. How is this going to pan out? Man, this is freaking... Oh, man, the cold burst. <laughs> no, this is oh. the absolute worst thing he could have done. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, not like this. Not like this. Not like this, RX. Okay, oh, what the hell? Meter. Oh, damn. He teleported. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Oh, oh he got the conversion this time. Okay, okay. And the grab again. If he gets grabbed one more time, it's over. It's lights out. Uh, and this, this <laughs> defense. This is so Careful, Travao. No Travao, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, and it's got the kill. He, got <laughs> he brought it back. We're going to see. Oh, this match too will be really uh, hype. I think. Yeah, this will, this is bound to be pretty hype. Yeah. The difference is that Nelia has way less difference than uh, yeah. than Giovanna. So if she gets caught by Testament like only once, the huge the huge damage can like be really really dangerous. But for now, uh, Yuhi seems to have a pretty good advantage right now. We got a good block from RX here. Oh, that's it. We got a very good conversion out of a, a far slash. It's gonna break the wall. Will we use the super? No, we don't. Basically, Yuhi likes to keep. 
his meter like for maybe future pressure sessions or something like but now he's, he's gonna have to use it to not lose meter from the, the meter oh, the the positive bonus and that's it and we got the conversion no unfortunately he was too close uh to the ground to get the full conversion but that's it now it's rx turn to get full meter use it oh the yep, easy crowd. And the, sledge. <laughs> the sledge for the win very nicely done by yuhi Takes the first round. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice 6B has a huge horizontal, uh, vertical range actually. The 6B has, so it's very useful what? to use against uh, Amelia. Here we go with the opening. Yuki going ham with the schmixes. Oh lord. Oh, very nice contest right there uh, by our Express extending P to catch whatever Yuki was throwing out at that particular moment. Here we go with the 4S. It's the burst with a fully charged dust for the punish. This is crazy good. Very nicely done. And here we go. The oh lord. The damage. Finally gets a stained. Okay, our ex. Uh, he's, he's on the verge of bringing it back. Oh no, no. Where are me? Where am I? Where are me? Where am oh, I? Where oh. are me? <laughs> <laughs> where are me? <laughs> And RX brings it back, man. Oh, freaking lord. This is clutch. It was so clutch, but still we get the burst that is immediately used on uh, Yuhi's side. Yeah, we got the stain, and fortunately it's been countered by Yuhi's 2D, who's gonna break the wall pretty easily with a good conversion. 40% of damage? That is really, really decent from here. What? <laughs> he, he cut... He caught the what was the, uh, the air car? What's the name again of this iron savior? Ah, that's a that, yeah. that I wouldn't know. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that's that's iron savior. Yeah, we we are <laughs> full meter. Nice nice attempt of teleporting here. Uh, Woo! From on from RX and that's ah, the that good conversion yeah. and that's the first oh, point. We did it. Oh, oh that's it. Yes. <laughs> okay, we didn't talk. Yeah. <laughs> the stress, man. The stress is here. Like like it, this <laughs> reminded me the 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 PS1 stress. <laughs> Remember this? I know, yeah. You, you see the logo and you start stressing. Exactly. Oh, is it gonna work? Is it the... not gonna work? Yeah. yeah, is it gonna work? <laughs> <laughs> Lord almighty. Okay, yes, anyways. Good conversion um, here, but okay. Here we got the. Oh, didn't manage to apply the stain. The, he stopped like right before uh, hitting Milia. What the hell was that? And we got the good BRC mix. No, couldn't manage to convert um, to confirm it. Nice, nice confirm here. This, this, I believe this was not possible before too. Je te laisse okay, now we got the arbiter sign. Okay, okay oh yeah, uh, Yuki is like really. I think they got a really good uh, knowledge matchup as they are manage. They, they manage to actually block every arbiter sign that uh, is sent to to him basically. Okay. It's gonna, we're gonna have the RC and the conversion, okay. RX get the burst here, but it's preferable to not use it, of course. Yo, oh, no! What's this interaction? We didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, great. Okay, better use the burst here after the 2D. That's it. Nice reflect. I mean, um... I mean, nice confirm, basically, <laughs> here after the, the teleport. We got the good war break, good conversion, got 50% of meter in the burst on Yuhi's side. This will probably be the end if there is another opening. That's it. Mirage, super, and that's the end of the match already. And we are like, I believe, 2-0 in Yuhi's favor. This is sick. This is sick. Uh, <coughs> Yuhi Zian Ganyan match. Okay, I'm back. So. Yuhi Zian Ganyan match. Okay, ça fait du 2-0 du coup. Okay, we're good. Ça fait du 2-0. Ouais. We're good, we're good. So, on to potentially set. Uh, well, on to potentially final match of this set right there. We go with RX and Darius Street right there. He is going to have to find some sort of way to uh, try to contain Yuhi because he yeah, the. The pressure has been really relentless. Yuki doing a good job of remaining slippery as he should as a Melia player. Very nice counter hit right there on the uh, far S. Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage here. Go with the wall break. Yuki is going to be stained. What's going to be the schmix? No schmix, just run up straight and do a uh, 2k. Here we go. You got crowed, sir. You got crowed. 
Uh, oh, no entire air. Here we go with you. He finding the opening and you are in Schmick's land. You have to take it. Yep, here we go. Okay, no, uh, no, um, basically no overdrive on this one. And here we go. The Schmicks is again a real no YRC right there from RX. And just like this, here he is on match point. How is this going to pan out? We shall see in a couple of seconds. But for now, it's a clean 3-0 by Yuhi, man. It's... He has had... Oh, very nice entire right there from RX. Using the Crow, unfortunately, Yuhi is already out of the corner. And here we go, Schmixland. No. Oh, my... Yeah, okay, here we go. Yuhi trying to weather the storm. Trying to find the opening. Finally... Oh, didn't find actually. Gets 6-speed counter hit by RX. And here we go with RX and the Tick. Um, I'd call it the tick pressure, and here we go. The Schmix correctly, uh, correctly uh, blocked by RX. Finally, RX pops the burst. Uses the teleport to try to, uh, well, grab his opponent. Wait, is this tournament? Yeah, this that's a tournament with the new patch, less kaiju. Indeed, it is. And here we go. And yes, we're on the the losers final with a Melia and a Testament man. So oh. yeah, yeah, that was crazy. That that uh, that punish on the slate. Uh, the sledge uh, with the uh, back, um, what is it? The, uh, the the jumping S was pretty crazy. And here we go. Just oh my lord! Look at the freaking mixes, man. You see, going ham, going ham. Look at this! Oh my lord! Oh, man. <laughs> the, what are you about? Okay, why did we about? Okay, why are you about? Okay, why are you about? <laughs> my lord! That was crazy, man. You he just like. And here we go on to the next battle. This is the grand final. Grand final Giovanna against a Melia. This is crazy, man. Who would have thought? Finally, this is probably the first time in the history of the Brojo Cup that we have a Melia in grand final. This is definitely the first time. It would be pretty hype if Melia ends up taking it. We shall see. Okay, and here we go with the Nasante trying to keep Yuhi out of the corner, uh, out of the air. And Yuhi just doing a good job of just switching sides. Here we go with the flip kick from Kohide. Manages to find his way out of the corner. And throw back to the neutral. And here we go to side switch again by Yuhi. This time around in favor of him. Here we go. He goes with the bad moon. Quick Roman cancel into overdrive. And here we go with the heavy knockdown. Just one. Mix and a regular jump in no, with no the mix. HS. No mix. The mix of the what, no mix. What mix? Exactly. What, what did you expect, dude? Sometimes, sometimes no mix, mix is the answer, mix. man. Sometimes yeah. no mix yeah. is the answer. The, the, the best mix sometimes is just not doing any mix. Exactly. <laughs> like, and the was, combos, this was man. The, case oh, and the combos. Like, this, it walls flat? Yeah, it walls flat, man. man. It's crazy. Damn, the, did you see how long has he been? <laughs> How? I, I mean, as soon as the patch came out, Yuki, like, immediately, like, he spent all of his time in the training, like, all of his time, you know, trying to find every single thing possible, I feel. But yeah, he's doing a really good job, man, it's crazy. Oh, cha. Well, is <clears throat> Okay, and here we go with the 6P counter hit. Bates the burst, and just like this, Yuki really puts one on the board! He's in the lead! It's, well, he's not in the lead, actually, but he puts one on the board still. This is crazy. This confirm, this confirm is actually very cool. Like, mm, it is. He likes... Um, <clears throat> Yuhi likes to go for, like, either 2P or 2K, then go for a 6K, yeah. since... Uh, uh, 6P, I mean. Yeah. Since when... Uh, uh, now with the new buff, with the new counter hit on the, the light buttons buff, if you, if you get a counter out of it, you can actually link your 6P out of it and get like uh, any special yeah uh, I think not not any special but she can like use her s version of the tandem top which is which is really cool like finally a good use of this special <laughs> exactly man this is crazy and here we go on to the second map and Kohide gets grabbed out of his uh, sliding his sliding uh, K yeah this is uh, uncharacteristic of him and here we go with the aerial perk from you he finds the Opening push it forces the burst from oh, Kohide. Oh, oh, that juggle attempt by Kohide was pretty nice, but unfortunately for him, he didn't get the correct timing. You act to say bien. Act merci pour le sub. Ça fait plaisir. 31 mois, mon dieu. Mon dieu. Qu'est-ce que oh c'est que ça? 31 mois, c'est un truc de ouf, mon dieu. And yeah, here we go. Bah, c'est un truc de ouf, ouais. Bah, toi aussi, François, doit pas être trop trop. Bah, ça doit être plus, mais. Pourquoi Je suis pas sûr. Okay. Honnêtement, je sais plus. <laughs> non, c'est pas un problème. Mais bon, en tout cas, uh, here we go back to the 
neutral man and you he just took just like this took the first round what Even, yeah he took the first round already it's crazy so crazy yeah but i mean i mean did, did you see that 6h that's weird 6h like due to the momentum they didn't the, the second oh, hit, um, hitbox didn't hit so yeah so kohide basically went behind yeah uh, uh you see there Okay, there's, there's a nice confirm. Will we see a burst? Oh! No, we seem to, to see yeah. some That's panic. The nerf. I think Kohide is panicking. Yeah. Look, this yeah. confirm. Yeah, yeah. This, this very confirm is crazy. And, that and was... that's already 2 Oh, we are so yeah. close from bracket reset. Yeah, and that was one of the nerfs of uh, Giovanna. Her uh, throw range have been nerfed, so she cannot throw as far away as she could uh, pre-patch, basically. And that was one of the reasons why the throw attempt of Kohide uh, whiffed and uh, basically Yuhi was capable of throwing him afterwards. So yeah, that's one of the nerfs of Giovanna and I feel ah. like it's definitely gonna, it's gonna uh, affect the character, probably. That being said, here we go on to the next battle and again immediate opening by Yuhi, man. Just letting it rip. Oh uh, lord, ooh, very nice dash, he's right there from Koyid, but again Yuhi not afraid of pressing yeah, buttons, great. you know. Oh lord, the jump in right there, oh, this is crazy. Okay, here we go. Both opponents, both uh, contestants do not have burst anymore. If you get open, you have to take it, you have to eat it. And speaking of which, you have to eat this. Ah, uh, no, not Sante. Oh my lord, here we go. Shikohi, they're just running right after you, not Letting him... Oh, and here we go, the aerial overdrive. Big damage incoming. Well, decent damage incoming, all things considered. There we go, and Koi, they're just, yeah, just slipping in, out, slip in, out all the time. And the... Throw has been baited. Very nicely done by Kohide. Here we go. He takes finally one yeah. round. We'll maybe see another reverse 3-0. Oh. We don't know like he, uh, he actually did with RX right before. But uh, yeah, I, I, I sometimes have the feeling that um, Yuhi is in his opponent's head. Like, you yeah. know, he sees, he, he sees everything. That's it. Nice attempt of a 6 beat. Been blocked, unfortunately, for Ooh, him. That punish. Uh, allowing, look at this. Yeah, see this punish. This, this what new combo. This, oh, what? what? I don't know, but it worked. What? <laughs> it worked out. No, yeah, actually, actually <laughs> it, did, it didn't work, but it yeah. would have been sick if it worked. That would have been pretty and sick. And that's match point. Exactly. That's actually set point. We are one round away from the reset. Did you see that reverse yeah, jump dash? That was, that was so Ooh, awkward. Oh, and the back dash. That back dash to evade the okay, midi and very it. nice throw bait right there from Kohid is gonna get hey, a ton hey. of damage off of it. Oh, Gary's, oh very nice way right, on nice punish. punish and the empty low, but this time around, Kohid it locks it correctly. Okay, no Roman cancel right there. Yushi just. Ooh, very nice jump in. <laughs> Schmicks is. Schmicks time. Are you gonna pop the burst? You Oops. are not! Oh! No, now he's oh, gonna have finally to the burst is here. Yeah, there we go. Careful, and careful, that, that, no. and the reset point. Here we go. <laughs> reset point for Yuhi, man. Brings it back, it brings it back. Didn't. We have a freaking match. It's 3 to uh, 3 to 0, was it? Yeah, I think it, I think yeah, it, it was, is. It's I a 3 0. Damn, man. It's a view, that's a bracket reset. Kohide is this a bracket reset. In this first set. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's uh, very uncharacteristic by the way. And here we go, Kohide falls in the losers. And the bracket has been successfully reset. Let me update this real quick. Here we go. And on to the next battle. Okay, so this time around, the person who wins this set wins the tournament. Bracket reset, holy freaking. And by Amelia, man. Not by just by anything, Amelia. You know? <laughs> crazy. How the hell? So crazy. Okay, here we go. The. Schmixes are real, ah, the... and again the jump. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me check this out. By the way, I'll check it Who out. Who sent Yuhi in? A, like, like, can you imagine that Yuhi's been sent in yeah. losers from the from the start of the, yeah, of the tournament? It's so crazy. It's like it's <laughs> unbelievable. And he's in, and he's top two hey, right now. You know who <laughs> sent Yuhi in the losers? It's Kohide. Who? What? Kohide sent it's him Kohide. in the losers. Uh... Yeah. This is poetry right there. <laughs> He got right his there. revenge, he's got exactly. it pretty well since the first and round. He's from see it. Yuhi and it's a perfect. Oh my lord. Yeah. Oh my lord. This is freaking poetry right there. And the six peak outer head. And the double schmix right there. Kui, they managed to block everything though. Very nicely done. And the empty low for the opening. Here we go against Yuhi doing a good job of mixing his options. And Kui, they're really looking lost. I'm sorry I have to say it, but he looks lost as hell. Oh my lord, what the... What, do, what is this? What is this player? 
Oh my lord, what was that? That was crazy good. And here we go, the trade in favor of Yushi. And just like this, Yushi puts one on board and takes the lead, actually. Holy freaking lord. How is this going to what end, if he like? What if he, like, wins 3-0 a second time? That would, cr that would be... That would be sad for Kohide, but that would be pretty hype for for us, I feel. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, right? Oh my lord. Ha, ah, that guy, though. Yushi, extremely strong, man. Damn. Yeah, and that being said, here we go on to the second match of this bracket reset. So is Kohide gonna find something that, man, he, Kohide seems lost. Like, you're, oh my lord, okay. Ooh. Okay, and just like this, the golden burst. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you get open. Oh, okay, finally got open. Oh my lord. Uh, no, okay, just standing P for the entire. That, that's good. Nice conversion. So when Dina Sante get it due to the badly timed Miti. I think that he tried to grab again, but again, once again, the um, the, the throw range of uh, Jill got nerfed, so it whiffed and Yushi was able to uh, grab him out of it. Again with the. Oh, and the Schmix. Is it gonna. I, the I don't think he's gonna kill. Oh, I don't think he's gonna that kill. Nah, though. He won't, but still, like, but Kohide has, uh, he, he's actually full oh meter Lord. right now. <laughs> oh, oh what, what was that? Was, was like, was that like an early dash, dash cancel? Uh, I think so too. I mean, a cancel dash, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, if you just dash 2k, that was, that was actually pretty neat, like, it, and Yuhi is, is rolling, like, look at, yeah, look man, at that, like, rolling, you don't, man. don't know what to do. He's like, steam Kohide rolling. doesn't know what he's to do. He's steamrolling, like, so yeah, crazy. He's completely steamrolling, this might actually be the end. No, he's uh, he went there. for the That's reset, though, a little reset. bit too hungry right there. Yeah, he went with the reset. But it's hard to actually, reset somebody can. like Kohide. He can, with the life lead that he has, yeah, definitely, he could afford to do so. Yeah, but not, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. One hit, one hit is all you need. Oh my lord, the grab, the delayed grab attempt, and here we go, this is gonna kill Lord! Oh my lord, he is up 2-0, two, two man, is he gonna take it 3, 6-0? Like 6 in a row, that would be sick, man, holy freaking lord. Yeah, right now he's like 5. Yeah, exactly, he's 5 down, man, 5 up, actually. Damn, is this gonna end up like this? Oh, not like this, Koki, not like this. Do something! Oh my lord. This is crazy, I though. Man, it, and Emilia on the verge of winning the Brojo Cup. Are you serious? <laughs> really? <laughs> that would be crazy good. Okay, and on to the next battle. Here we go. Kohide. Oh, finds the opening this time around. Good stuff by him. Okay, here we go. He goes in very, very nice. easily. Just, yeah, this 2P, 2P. Uh, Trovao. 5P. Oh, 5P was it? Not 5P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. Here we go with the conversion and the... Juggle this time around. Oh, okay, he went with the fully charged dust. He wanted to get the kill this time around. Okay, here we go. The pun. Oh, no punish. It's a down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go with the uh, dash from Kohide to uh, chase the um, the flea attempt from Yuhi. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And here we go with Yuhi and the wall, but he's gonna get a positive bonus. Oh, is Kohide gonna... Oh, okay. Here we go. And the Sepultura. Oh, and a very nice bag dash from Kohide. Oh, oh he's gonna get the... Ooh, this is death. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, this is death. Very nice. Bye-bye, and it's, it's match point. It's, it's tournament point. It's tournament point, man. For tournament Yuki. point for Yushi. Milia, man. Tournament point for Milia. Yeah, Yushi tournament carrying... Tournament point for Milia, like... <laughs> Have you ever seen it's, like a? It's the, have you ever it's seen the a first tournament time it happens in the world yeah. since like, the release of the game? I think I've never seen a tournament won by Amelia player. <laughs> Yo, yeah, nice. Uh, maybe, maybe Leffen when the game started, but not I, even I'm sure. not sure. When, I when know the that Leffen won the chip, sure, but yeah, but he played Amelia at first. Yeah, okay. And here we go with the... And oh, my lord, the Schmix. There we go. The, oh, Schmix time. The you don't want to get... Oh, this is unfortunate. What, what was that? Yeah, uh, that, that, that was a missing put defo. Um, oh, and the empty right. low! The empty low! And that's, that's the last pick, that's probably probably the last oh, mix. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Oh, <laughs> just yeah, like this! Man. Oh, he's not, no, he's not <laughs> <just> <laughs> Holy freaking lord!